I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's really helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. You may occasionally see a question mark in the upper right corner of the top mat. If you click on it, it'll bring up a tip on how to manipulate the current puzzle. Your cell phone has lots of features, phone, camera, clock, messages, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Scroll through to the name of the correct contact and press call. Be sure to check in with Bess and George from time to time. After a string of tough mysteries, I've decided it's time to take a break to do a little sightseeing. I'm taking P.G. Krollmeister up on his offer to send me to his favorite Ryokan, or traditional inn, in Kyoto, Japan. I'll spend the days teaching English and my nights with Bess and George, exploring the sights, fashion, history, and nightlife of downtown Kyoto. From what I hear, the inn I'm staying at is known as one of the scariest places in the city. I'm not sure why people say that. I might have to poke around a little to see what's really going on at the Ryokan Hiei. Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. <gasps> Do you believe me now? Obasan, it only fell. It did not. You know better. I'm very sorry. She, she's just a little upset. She does not want her here. Tell her to go. Now. What was that about? Why is she upset? Please, don't worry about that. Here, this is your room key. Thanks. Your room is on the second floor. I've already had your bag sent up. Please, my name's Miwako. Come to me if there's anything you need. Is that a robotic cat? Yeah, Suki! Isn't she the greatest? Lentalo got her for me. I've wanted my own pet cat for forever, but I can't have one at the Ryokan. I came into work one day, and there she was, right next to the sweetest note from Lentaro. I've never seen a robotic cat before. What does it do? She's not on it. She's Suki. It's okay, she didn't mean it. Actually, she doesn't really do much, mainly sits. But, oh wait, I just learned something neat. Suki, tate. Oh, that's great! That's all I remember right now, but she can do a lot more. I should figure out what the rest of the commands are, come to think of it. Although, to be honest, it's a little more believable if she just does what she wants. What is a Ryokan? A Ryokan is almost exactly like a hotel or spa, but far more traditional. 
This ryokan has been in my family for generations. Passed down from mother to oldest daughter in order to preserve the traditional style, the food, the caretaking. Every little detail is as it would have been generations ago. How long has the ryokan been in your family? A very long time. My grandmother says it has been passed down since the early 1700s. So one day you'll pass this place on to your daughter? That must be very nice. Well, I'm the younger daughter. My older sister Yumi will be the one to take over the ryokan. Oh. My grandmother's offering a few classes in traditional arts. She's in room 18 at the end of the hall. Your grandmother seemed very upset about the portrait breaking. It's no big deal. She thinks it's a bad sign that the portrait fell from the wall. Why is that? It's a very special portrait. It's one of the two remaining images of my mother and it was taken shortly before... It's one of my grandmother's favorite portraits. What happened to your mother? I shouldn't bother you with our problems, Nancy. Please, it is very nice outside, a perfect time to relax and enjoy your surroundings. Nancy, please be careful. There's too much broken glass. Please don't hang anything up there. Hello. Nancy, you made it. How was your ride? It was pretty good. I love Japan. I have done so much shopping, and George's convention is crazy. I've never seen so many people. It's totally sold out. You sound pretty excited. Well, yeah. Kind of hard not to be here. I don't even know where to start. Have you ever had mochi? It's a revelation, Nancy. I'm not even kidding. And the shopping. Conference me in already. Oh, yeah. Did that do it? No? Okay. No, hit the... No, the... You do it then. We all on? Yes. Yep. Why is that so hard? It so isn't. Anyway, what's your story? What are you up to? You coming over? I'm still getting settled in, but I'll be out to see you guys soon. How's the... whatever it is you're staying at? Ryakon. It's great. A little strange, though. When I was checking in, a picture fell off the wall, and everyone was really weird about it. Huh. Oh no, our train's going to be here in a sec. Gotta go. See you, Nancy. Bye. I might be able to use this.
Time to grade some papers. Whoa, hang on. Man only right now. What do you mean? The baths. The blue banner means the baths are for men. The red banner means women only. I don't know why we don't mention this at the front desk. This is useful information. Anyway, I'm Rentaro. I'm out in the garden if you need anything. Hi again. I'm Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm Nancy. What do you mean, surprising? Did I say that? Whoops! <laughs> so, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. That's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean... You'd have to be crazy to live there, but on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Do you work here? Technically. It's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back. Even the ones who come to see the ghosts. <gasps> I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh well, already did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. And that's always a treat, because they're totally not obnoxious. So, people think this place is haunted? Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. You like puzzles? I guess you could say that. I figured. You're going to love this. It's called a nanogram. What's that? It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all, but they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or, or... They can make a neat picture. Okay. Take a look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done, and I'll give you something better. Sure. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. What are you building there? Oh, this. This is the Rentaro 4000. I sort of got inspired by Suki. 
What's it going to be? A robotic dog. Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how long these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the rest of the dog. So the borders on creepy come to think of it. Is it going to be a gift for Miwako? Oh, definitely. She's my robotic muse. But she's not robotic. Not that you'd think she is. <sighs> and this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. Miwako seems to really like Suki. I know, which is great, because that girl is hard to buy for. And it's been sort of a gift-heavy year. Either she's getting crazy sensitive or I'm becoming a huge jerk. Hmm, hard to say. It's definitely one or both of those things. I'll stop bugging you now. Catch you around! I did it! Hey! I finished the nanograms puzzle. Awesome! Nice job! What do you think? I loved it! I've got something better! You know it, you love it! The original! Sudoku! Sudoku? What's that? Oh, I'm glad I'm having you try this. It's one of the classics. This is the puzzle you see everyone working on in the subway in the mornings. You're going to love it. There are instructions in case you get stuck. Here you go. Bring it back if you want more. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I did it! Hi! I finished up the Sudoku. Way to go! So, what do you think? I loved it! I've got one last type of puzzle to show you. This is one of my favorites. Renograms. It's all about creating an unbroken string of numbers. 
Tell me what you think when you're done. Here you go. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. I did it! Hi! I finished up the Renegrams puzzle. Great! I knew you would! Don't tell the other puzzles, but this is my favorite. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Listen in. The strange sounds on the pounding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this ryokan needs to be closed down immediately. I'm very sorry. Sorry changes nothing. This is unacceptable. I want my money back, and I want a car sent immediately to take us anywhere else. Oh, hello, Nancy-san. That guest seemed pretty upset. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Trust me, I see a lot at this desk and one thing never changes. Travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. I met Rentaro. Who is he? Oh, Rentaro, he's my boyfriend. He's also handyman around here. Have you two been dating long? I'm sorry. I should really get back to my paperwork. But if you have any questions about the ryokan, please don't hesitate to ask. What has been scaring the guests away? Oh, nothing. They're not scared. It's something else. Can I help you with anything? I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Nanasi-san, please sit. It is a pleasure to meet you, Parapali. I am sorry for the way I behaved when you first arrived. It was very impolite. Please forgive me. Of course, don't worry. It's nice to meet you as well. That is very kind of you to say, but I must always worry about the guests who stay with us, especially now. What do you mean, especially now? Are you here for a lesson today? Yes. Today, you will be learning katakana. To the outsider, katakana always looks far more difficult to learn than it is. You just need to be patient and you need to learn to see more than you are used to seeing. There is a book to help in the chest. Practice until it looks like your name, Nancy, not just some lines. What do you mean? Although there are many Nancy's in the world, your name belongs to only you. It has always been yours. You must try until what you see on the paper is not just a word. It is you.
Oops, I should try again. Very well done, Nancy. This is the best I've ever seen from a new student. I knew you could do this well. Leave this to dry, and I'll have it brought to your room to remind you of your success. I love the gardens. Do you take care of them? Yes, of course. I sleep here, but my home is out there, in the gardens. Even when the whole earth is covered in snow, I am happiest there, waiting for the first flowers to break through the frost. Do yourself a favor, Nancy Son. Find a small piece of earth that begs to be made perfect, and do whatever it asks of you. You will thank me. The Ryokan seems very important to you. The world around has become a million different things since I was a girl. And I do not have to tell you that many changes have not been so good. But in here, the world does not change. Why do you want Yumi to take over the Ryokan? It is tradition. Any other reason? I am used to this question. Tradition is very often made fun of or ignored, but tradition is how we know ourselves, Nancy Son. The traditions of your family are how you know yourself. Tradition is a burden in many ways. I understand this. But imagine not knowing who you are or where you come from. It would be very lonely, I think. Have you always lived at the Ryokan? Since I was born. Have you ever left? I have. But I never found anywhere I wanted to be as much as here. Have you always offered classes? No, it is new. We have developed a reputation, and for many years I've wanted to teach our guests. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye, Nancy-san.
What was that? Oh no, the screen tore! I better tell Mawako about this tomorrow. It must have just been my imagination. I should try to get some more sleep. Let's see how they did. Are you both on? Oh, hi, Nancy. What was the name of the place you're staying at again? The Rio Con Hie. Told you. Guess you're right. What are you two talking about? We met this girl at a bento booth at the expo, and she grew up at the Rio Con you're staying at. Pretty crazy coincidence. Is her name Yumi? That's the one. You've got to get down here and meet her. She's so much fun. She told us all about everyone at the Rio Con, and it sounds like you've got your hands full. I should come to meet her. I have a few questions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I know that tone of voice. What tone of voice? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're working a case, aren't you? Maybe. I don't know exactly what is going on at the Riacon, but it's really strange. Busted. Okay, you got me. I may have found a mystery. Shocking. So... What can we do for you? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I saw something really strange in my room. What? A shadowy figure showed up in my room, but when I looked out on the balcony, no one was there. It was like whoever it was just disappeared. Creepy. Okay, that's it. We're leaving Japan. I'm sure there is a logical explanation. Me too. I'm just not sure what it is yet. The two of you, I swear, if we were being chased by a dinosaur, you two would be too busy debating about the fossil record to run away. Where is your sense of panic? It was pretty scary, I admit, but I don't believe that someone could just disappear. Right. Well, you said a shadow figure, right? Maybe it was some sort of trick of the light. That's what I was thinking. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. Spooky. Anything else? How's the expo going, George? It's crazy. I've never seen so many clever people in one space. I'm definitely dealing with a little bit of that small fish, large pond anxiety. I'm still trying to get tickets for you, but it's not looking good. That's okay. Thanks for trying. I'll let you go. Bye! Hi! I tore one of the screens in my room. I'm really sorry. Do not worry, Nancy-san. This happens often. Very easy to fix, just a little steam to loosen the glue. I'll have Lentalo take care of it immediately. Great, thanks. When I tore the screen, I think I saw someone on my balcony. Right. It's nothing to worry about. The screens really distort things sometimes. I'm sure it was just your imagination.
It wasn't my imagination. I saw someone walking on my balcony, and then she just disappeared. You're seeing things. It is just your imagination. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Did that. This looks important. I should figure out where I can use it. It looks like something is missing here. a little hot. Ah. Hi. I'm sorry. The mirror broke when I was in the bath, but before it broke, I saw the image of a woman who wasn't in the room with me. Don't worry, Nancy. I'm sure it was nothing. I have Lentalo take care of it right away. Until then, please stay away. I don't want you to get hurt. But I saw something. I'm sure of it. You work too hard, Nancy-san. Up too late, off to teach so early. You must rest more. Your judgment suffers if you do not get enough rest. I know what I saw. Nancy-san. Please, I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Hi! Do you believe that the Ryokan is haunted? I don't believe that anything is haunted. Ghosts uh, are just what happens when guilty people let their imaginations run wild. What do you mean? Think about it. Why do ghosts always want revenge? They're what people invent when they feel guilty. If that wasn't the case, then ghosts would want all sorts of things. But no, they always want revenge. I finished the Sudoku puzzle. Here you go. Can you tell me anything about Takai? She can be a little tough, but she's really wonderful. She works herself way too hard, though. I wish I could get her to just relax a little. But you can't tell her to do anything unless you want a lecture back in return. I take it you've been lectured by Takai before. I pretty much grew up here, and believe it or not, 
I was not always the saint you see standing before you, so I've been on the sad end of a lecture or two, but I've overheard more. Always hilarious when they're not directed at you. Do you know what happened to the mirror in the baths? Oh, that thing. I sort of hid it a few years back and put a little hairline crack in it. Its days have been numbered for a while. Sorry about breaking it. Oh no, uh, don't worry. I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. Mirrors can be very dangerous when they're breaking. In more ways than one. What do you mean? Oh, oh shards of glass and such. Not something to fool around with. Something weird happened. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't see my reflection. Aha! You know what happened? You're a vampire! Seriously though, that's pretty messed up. Maybe you need to get a little rest. This place might be getting to you a little. Do you know what's scaring the guests away? City superstitions! I don't get it. We have ghost hunters who come here to find ghosts. And if they think they've found something, they get all panicked and run away. Is that the portrait from the lobby? Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to do than I thought it would be. It's got a really strange backing. Would you like some help? Have at it. This thing is officially making me nuts. The tools you'll need are near the frame. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires are crossing. I got the backing off the portrait. Nice job. What's this? I should hold on to this article.
This is just a phrase book. I can't translate something as long as this article. Hi. Do you know anything about the certificate behind the portrait? Who's Savannah Woodham? She was an investigator. She helped out with the investigation after Kasumi died. An investigator? This certificate seems a little less than official. She was more of a paranormal investigator. I don't really believe in that stuff personally, but Takai wanted her here. Why did Takai want a paranormal investigator? I've known Takai since I was a kid. And let me tell you this from experience. It is impossible to guess what she's thinking or why she does them... <sighs> what she does. What do you mean? Oh, I'm sure you'll find out. Can you translate this for me? Sure. No. Put this back where you got it. Who's my favorite robotic cat? Suki Tate. Looks like I'll need a password. It's late. I should get to bed. How's it going? I looked in this mirror, and instead of seeing my reflection, I saw a ghostly image. Ugh, creepy. Cool! Actually, I'm going to side with Bess on this one. No, I've heard about stuff like this before. There's a thing you can do to the glass to throw a false image, but it's a really fussy process. It's hard to do without breaking the mirror. Yeah, the mirror broke. So, do you think it's possible it was rigged? More possible than the other option. 
Have you seen the robotic cats they have here? I love those! I don't know if they're cute or creepy, but I love them anyway. Miwako has one. It's cute, but it's a little aggressive. It's in guard mode. There's a way to override that, some sort of code word. Right. I need to figure out what it is. Hmm. I bet if I check around the expo, I can find someone who knows. That would be amazing. Thanks. Anytime. Need anything else? I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Nancy, today I have a very important lesson. We will learn origami. Great, let's get started. Origami has been around in many forms for centuries. Master Yoshizawa brought the art back before it could disappear. There is a grave danger, Nancy-san, in forgetting. If the whole world forgets a thing or a person, then it is gone forever. What do you mean by that? I have for you here a selection of origami patterns, a few steps away from the last step. You must simply match the pattern to the completed design. They are perfect, absolutely perfect. You have many talents, Nancy-san. We fixed the portrait. I think it's back up in the lobby. It is, yes. Rentaro tells me that it's very important to you. Yes, it is very important to all of us. Why were you so upset when it fell? You would be upset if something you love broke. There was more to it than that. No, that was all. Can you translate this article for me? I'd be happy to, Nancy-san. Why would you give me this? Put it back where it goes, now! I should go. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, Nancy-san. I hear this place has a reputation as a destination for ghost hunters. We didn't ask for it. It's all that stupid book. Those people, they have no respect for anyone or anything. I saw a certificate certifying that the Ryokan was cleansed of all ghosts and spirits. Can you tell me about that? What? That's no offense, but that seems sort of silly. A certificate? So you don't know anything about it? No. And where exactly did you find this certificate? Behind the portrait I helped Rentaro repair. Maybe you should stay away from what isn't yours. And maybe he should have the sense to know what is a family matter. I have to get back to work now.
interesting. This looks important. I better hang on to it. Is your name Yumi? Absolutely not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? I'm Nancy Drew. Mm, nope. Never heard of you, but thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh, wait. Nancy Drew? As in friends with Beth and George and staying at the Ryokin, Nancy Drew? Or are there two of you? Which one is it? That's me. The friends with Beth and George. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Get over here. Come on. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on. Trust me. It's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all figured out. Sure, sounds good. Fantastic! Here are the ingredients. You may notice that they run the gamut from pretty cute to insanely adorable. This is not an accident. Okay, very easy. The customers will give you a list of what they want and how they want it organized, and you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. Going? Where are you going? The store. Good luck. You'll do fine. I'll be back soon. Wait. I guess I'd better get to work. I did it! It was pretty cute. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryokan? I'm not into that sort of thing. Couldn't you find a pamphlet? I was hoping for an insider's opinion. Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Yes, exactly. Interesting. You're working some kind of anger here, aren't you? Not that it matters. Still way too busy to talk. I know you're busy, but I helped you out with Bento, and all I want is a little information. Okay. Surrounded by breathtaking views you'll not soon forget, the Ryoka Hie opens the door to a simpler time. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience traditional Japan, or the family in search of that perfect vacation. Ryokin Hie, discover Japan, discover you. That's persuasive, but not exactly what I wanted to know. Isn't it? That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been happening. Aha! If you really want to know. Oh no! I'm running out of bento boxes! Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that can move us from buddies to straight up besties. Sure. Great! It's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's my key. Oh, and P.S. My number is 075-021-5855. I met your sister, Miwako. You two seem pretty close. That doesn't sound like the impression you'd get by having a chat with Miwako. What are you trying to ask? Miwako seemed a little upset about the Ryokan. Do you know anything about that? That's more her area of expertise. I've never been the go-to girl for the Ryoka. That place is the definition of repetitive. Guests come in, guests come out. It's brain-breakingly tedious. I don't know how Miwako puts up with it. Your grandmother seems a little hesitant to talk to me. That's the shocker of the decade. She's hesitant to talk to herself. What do you think of Rentaro? Other than that he should get a job at the nerd statue factory as their primary model? He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? He seems nice. He's a bit of a pest. Nice works if you want to be polite. But come on, this isn't the Ryokan. You can say what you mean. Okay, there is something a little weird about him. Yeah, that weird thing about him is his personality. That kid is his own special kind of neurotic. Huh, always has been. But he's my fake little brother, so I'm used to it. Until someone brings it up, I forget how he must seem when you first meet him. 
What do you mean by fake little brother? He first moved in next door when I was seven and Miwako was five. He followed us around day and night. One day, when he was being a real pain to Miwako, she just snapped and punched him hard. It was bad news. My mother saw. After that, we had to be nice to him no matter what, at least when she was in sight. Eventually, he grew on us, especially Miwako. What does Takai think of you working here? It's a phase. Aru snap out of it. Like I've been hypnotized and one day someone says the right word and snaps their fingers and Aru go, Hero, I am Yumi. One job running Ryokan, please. She's old school like that. Thinks the fun parts of life are a phase and the nasty parts are the these and knees. Does Miwako like working at the Ryokan? What a yeah. Why else would she be there day in and day out? What that girl needs is to spend some time out here. A few weeks with me and my friends would be enough to shake her up and get her to have some fun for once. So you don't want to take over the Ryokan? Not even for a second. I mean, I don't even get the whole tradition thing. You want to go to the past? Get a time machine. I'm not one for living in the past. Have you ever read a history book? The past is where we keep all of the terrible things that have happened. I don't understand. If you're the one who's supposed to take over the Ryokan, why is Miwako the one working there? Ugh, Nancy-chan. Don't get all everyone else on me here. If I had known I was supposed to run that place when I grew up, I would have taken a pass on the whole firstborn thing. Trust me. If Miwako left the Ryokan, who would run it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why do you care so much about it anyway? I'm just sort of naturally curious. I'd back burner that curiosity as long as you're staying at the Ryokan if I were you. What do you mean? Try not to find out, okay, Nancy? You seem nice. Good news! We met Ryuichi, the creator of the Suki Cats. Thing is, he won't give away the secret phrases unless you buy one of the cats. Alright, thanks for trying. But then the guy told George, for such a captivating, beautiful, gorgeous girl, he'd be willing to make an exception. You're turning red! Nancy, she's turning red! Am not! Anyway, there's a catch. He only shares secrets with the like-minded. He gave me this monster puzzle to solve, but I'm too busy with Expo stuff to solve it right now. Any chance that you could take a look at it? Sure! Anything for such a captivating, beautiful... Enough! I'll send it right over to you at the Ryokan. How's Kyoto? It's the best! Yumi's been showing me some of the coolest parts of town. The fashion here is crazy. Yumi took me to a store. I don't even know how to describe this place. It was pink. Really, really pink. It had the pink version of everything you could imagine. I'm not surprised. Neither was I, but I was a little horrified. But then she took us to see the Gaion District. So cool. She was a little grumpy that we wanted to see some traditional plays, but I think she had fun anyway. What do you guys think of Yumi? She's so much fun. A little pushy sometimes, but I feel like I've known her for years and we've just met. She seems to really dislike the Ryokan. Do you think she'd want to see it closed down? Well, I can't say for sure. She does really seem to resent that place, but I'm not sure if she'd go as far as trying to get it shut down. I don't know. I'll let you go. Bye! This must be what Yumi was talking about. Savannah Woodham. That's the author of this book. I should hang on to this. 
Having her phone number might come in handy. It looks like someone tore out one of the chapters. I need to translate that. I found a strange book about ghosts in Yumi's apartment with a note from the author. What do you mean? It had a dedication from the author, Savannah Woodham, to the Shimizu family. But the really weird thing is, there's a chapter missing. What was in the missing chapter? Uh, nope, strike that. That is a dumb question. That's pretty strange. Maybe you can find another copy of the book somewhere. There's a business card with the author's number inside. But more importantly, the table of contents says the missing chapter was about the Ryukon. Weird. Did you call? You've got to call. Agreed! I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Savannah Woodham's office, Logan speaking. Can I speak to Savannah Woodham, please? Are you one of our interviews? Interviews? I'm Savannah Woodham's assistant. Is she interviewing you about the expo? No, I actually want to speak to Savannah about a book she wrote. Oh, great! I'm so glad you called. Really? Why is that? It's been like three days since I've gotten to hang up on anyone. I wonder if I'm still good at it. Logan speaking. Did you just hang up on me? Oh, absolutely! Between you and me, it was awesome! In fact... You've reached Savannah Woodham's message service. I'm not in the office at the moment. Please try again. Nancy! And you've got my boxes. Neat! Here, I've got a thing for you. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. Thanks. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay. Just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Your outfit is very interesting. <laughs> Where did you get it? Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. You make your own clothes? Yeah. I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. Oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. 
Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fashion trends. I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on. And you've got my boxes. Neat! Here, I've got a thing for you. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. Thanks. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay, just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Your outfit is very... interesting. <laughs> Where did you get it? Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. You make your own clothes? Yeah, I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. <gasps> oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fashion trends. I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on! here today. Great job. Here you go, Nancy. Love that last picture you sent. Thanks. Why do you have a book on shadow puppets? Oh, that's Miwako's. It shouldn't be in my apartment. It's just a stupid book about puppets. It's just another one of the things that my grandmother is trying to always push on us. Could you use something like this to make spooky shadows from far away? Say, a balcony? Yeah, I guess. Love that last picture of you and Bess. Thanks. I found Savannah's ghost book in your apartment. Can you tell me more about that? She's some sort of ghost hunter or something. I don't know much about it, okay? But she did a chapter on the Ryokan. Yeah. Well, just because my grandmother believes in that junk, doesn't mean I do. I really like your apartment. You do? Thanks! It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced, but the location is great and it's mine. I love it. When did you move out of the Ryokan? The second I was old enough to sign a lease. Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service. No annoying tourists calling up at 4 in the morning. I adore that apartment. I wonder if it knows. I'm going to get it something nice today. 
a new doormat or something. I watched that DVD at your place. It was very strange. You did what? Shouldn't I have? Oh no, I'm sorry, Yumi. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just be very cautious. What do you mean? You have to be cautious about everything here, Nancy. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? This is not the time or the place. Is there a better time? Maybe when you're not at work? <sighs> There's never going to be a time or place. Just drop it. Can you come back in a bit? Shouldn't talk on my phone here. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I called Savannah, but she's got a really protective assistant. Yeah? Apparently, she's in Kyoto now, covering the expo for some tech magazine, so she's pretty busy. If I could get past her assistant, I could finally figure out what this whole book is about. Wait, so this guy is at the expo? Pretty sure. Then we've got this one. We do? Yep. We're going to find them, and you're going to flirt up a distraction. I am? Yes, you are. Well, at the very least, this will be interesting. And if it's a mortifying failure or anything, which it might be, we do live thousands of miles away. Solid point. We'll keep you updated. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hello, Logan here. I really need a copy of Savannah's book. Can you help me? Sure. Bookstores are a great start. Or the internet is helpful, but I'm really more of a brick and mortar person, honestly. I suppose you could also go the books on tape route. TV's Ralston Palpers does an excellent job with the text. Really makes it come alive. No, I meant, could you send me a copy? Oh, nope, but thank you for asking. I'll stop bugging you now. See you later. Hi. I love the picture of George. Yeah. I love that one. Can you translate this article for me? Okay. How did you get this? You know what? I don't even want to know. Just go put it back. Hello? What's going on? I need a dictionary to translate that.
Nancy, Operation Distract Logan is a go. Call Savannah. Gotta go. Hello. Hi, is this Savannah Woodham? Let me guess. You're that Nancy girl who's been driving my assistant to distraction and back this last week. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I would. Now tell me what's so important that y'all ruined my perfectly good assistant. Since y'all been calling around, talking to him's been like talking to a rock. A rock that I pay too much money. I'm staying at the Rio Con Hie. Something really strange is going on here. Don't tell me a lie now. Is this a joke? No, I promise. It's the truth. I saw your book. I thought maybe you could help. Honey, whoever you are, my best advice to you is to pack your bags and head back to wherever it is y'all come from. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's really going on here. <sighs> there gonna be anything I can say that'll change your mind now? No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this with or without you. But I could really use your help. I've been a lot of places that say they haunted, but none fit the ticket like that spooky old Rio Can he eh? I never got to finish up the chapter on the Rio Can like I was supposed to. Between us girls, I'm glad of that. You get much out of the family? Nothing too useful. Uh-huh. Tell you what. You end up following through with that bad idea of yours to stay at the Rio Can? And I'll see what help I can provide. But Nancy? What's that? Y'all be careful there now. You understand me? I will. I think I ran across a trick mirror here. Did it break? Yeah, how did you know? That's how you know it's a trick. Y'all know what the main difference between truth and illusion is in my line of work? What's that? Tom, an illusion can only last so long before it gives up its secrets. Now, I don't know exactly how that mirror was fixed, but the fact that it broke means that whoever rigged it knew that if you examined it enough, you'd figure it out. So, it was broken, so I couldn't figure out how it was faked. Exactly. That is, if it was a trick. Nancy, I can tell you how things might be faked, but I can't tell you if they were faked. You're the ones got to stand there and know how the room feels when these things happen. I saw a really creepy, shadowy figure on my balcony. Do you think that could be faked? Of course. Ain't nothing hard than that. Yeah? It's as easy as shadow puppets. All you need to be able to do is practice. In my experience, people like scaring people with shadows a lot more than ghosts do. The way I see it, if it's something a person could plausibly do, then there's a person behind it. If it's something a person can't do that's scaring you, well, y'all don't need me to finish that sentence. What's the story with your assistant, Logan? He's like my own little Georgia Bulldog. He can be a little aggressive sometimes, a little dopey at others, but always loyal. He's one of the good ones when you get right down to it. How long has he been working for you? Not long now. He started right after I switched my focus to tech reporting. Why did you change careers? It's a long story, but... Chasing's not the safest career there is. Ain't nothing shocking in that. Can you tell me about the certificate you gave the Shimizu family? Oh, yeah, that. Now, before you go thinking I'm some sort of charlatan, I don't normally do things like that. In fact, I had those made up to give to kids who were feeling too scared to go to sleep at night. Why did you leave one here? I felt like I should leave them something. I don't usually leave a place without knowing what's really going on there. Honestly, I felt so bad about the whole situation. Can you help me translate an article I found? No one else is willing to. Mm, sure. Leave it at the counter and I'll have Logan swing by to pick it up. Do you know where I can get a copy of your book? I'm guessing you're looking for the ghost hunting book I wrote, but I can't help you there. I'm out of copies myself. To be honest, Nancy, I don't mind helping you. But this whole ghost thing is a phase I'd sooner put behind me. Why is that? Now, don't y'all worry about that now. Just a choice I made. There must be some reason. I understand you were pretty well known. <sighs> put it this way, Nancy. There are some jobs where being well known makes for a dangerous life. Sometimes it's, uh, smart to move on. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you soon.
Logan speaking. Is this Nancy? Yes. Great, I'm so glad you called. Why, so you can hang up on me again? Oh, that, don't take that personally. I'm an assistant. My job mostly consists of hanging up on people. That and remembering birthdays. I met your friend Bess, and this is probably awkward, but I know we haven't gotten off to the best start. But I'm really not a bad guy, and she's really cute. And maybe you could help a dude out? All right. What? Well, she said she's going to be hanging around the expo, and maybe you could, like, tell me about what she likes, or maybe give me some idea of what I might say to fill the awkward pauses. You may have noticed, but for the last while I've been with Savannah, most of my conversations have been about 10 seconds long, and they usually end up with me hanging up on someone, and I don't think that's going to cut it. Oh, I see. Do you think you could help? Well, I was talking to her, and she really wants a copy of Savannah's book. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll do it. And Nancy, I'm sorry I hung up on you. That's okay. And Nancy, I might have to do it again. But should that happen, it's just business. Bye, Logan. Logan here. What happened to Savannah? Why doesn't she work with paranormal cases anymore? It's not something she likes to talk about. I gathered that, but can you tell me? When we're traveling, I spend weeks with her just touring on buses, long plane flights. We talk a lot. I know everything about her childhood, her best friend's dog's name from when she was five, her favorite ice cream flavors. She's very chatty. Then what has she told you about? Nothing. Not a single word. I've asked, and when I do, she just goes quiet and excuses herself. She's never told me to stop bugging her about it, but I can tell that she wants to. That's why I don't want you bothering her about it either. Whatever happened when she was writing the second ghost book, it really got to her. Second ghost book? Wasn't supposed to mention that. It's a secret, and it's not done, so don't think you're going to get your hands on it. I don't even know if she still has the manuscript. She had me tell her publisher she burned it, but I don't know if that's the truth. Were you able to find a copy of the book? I did, but before I send it, I need to ask you another favor. I want to get Bess a present. She said she was looking for the perfect outfit. I think that'd be a great gift, but I have no clue what to do in a clothing store. I sort of just freeze at the sight of hangers. I think it's genetic. I'll see what I can do. I know of a program that might be just the thing. Great, thanks. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Hello? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? I should find an outfit just like that. Did you get that paper doll I sent, George? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yumi sent me a great picture of you two. Oh, isn't that cool? I love the poor Kora booth here. I'll show you where a really great one is if you get done with your mystery before we have to head back home. I'm working on it. I promise I'll see you guys soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Logan here. Yes? All right. Savannah wants me to translate that article for you. I don't know what it is you said to her, but whatever you did to get her to talk about that paranormal garbage, you need to knock it off. I can't promise that. You really don't get it, do you? This ghost stuff isn't a joke, especially not to her. Since I'm the one stuck picking up the pieces after she gets too wrapped up in one of her cases, I'm telling you, leave it alone for her sake and yours. How long have you been working for Savannah? Started a few years back as a fill-in gig during spring break. Eventually she needed a long-term assistant and the job was just too weird to turn down. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
I got that picture you sent. How did you do all of the designs? I did it at the Purikura booth. They're everywhere around here. They're these picture booths, and you get to choose decorations, and you can write out your own messages. That sounds pretty cool. It is. Everyone uses them. Keep an eye out, and Otto send you some more. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy Drew. delivery for you. Here. Thanks. Do you want to manage the Ryukon? Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Hi. How does your grandmother feel about the Ryukon? It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. What does she think of Yumi not working here? It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. What do you mean? Every day I'm here, making sure all is well. It would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. Do you think Yumi's ever going to come back here to run the Ryukon? If she knows what's good for her. Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryukon? She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. Do you and Yumi get along? No. So I take it you're not very close. With us, the term isn't close. It's within striking range. So we both try to avoid that. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Of course, but really... She really, she was a very good big sister to have after what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. She does seem a little demanding. Not demanding, manipulative and bratty. Trust me, I've thought this one through. From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. It is true that we have the reputation. Has that been difficult for business? It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? No one I know. We all depend upon the Ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. What about someone else on the outside? No. There's no one else. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. Wow, George wasn't kidding. This does look hard.
All right, I'm pretty good at this. Four is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. No, sounds like another unhappy customer. I should listen to what's going on. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place. But no, I told her she was being unreasonable. But whatever it is that's going on down here, we are not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. There was nothing there. And I want to see this place closed down. You'd never get away with something like this in Sydney. Sir, please, we are not haunted. Oh, please yourself. <laughs> that was the last customer, wasn't it? Yes, Nancy. It's just you. So, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off, too. I don't scare easily. I've heard that before. Look, I'm sorry I shouldn't be upsetting you with all of this. Please, you're my only guest left. Let me at least make sure you have a good trip. Maybe you recommend us to your friends. I still want to help. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before everything that happened happened, and now... Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. I'm sorry, I'm very busy. Nancy, how's it going? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? I should find an outfit just like that. I'm not getting very far with Miwako. What do you mean? She never seems to answer my questions directly. That's never a good sign. I'd keep an eye on her. She could just be quiet, or she could be hiding something. I had another strange run-in with a ghost here. What happened this time? 
I was in the hallway, and one by one, the door started to slam, and I heard the sound of water dripping. Creepy. Just thinking about that, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Not sure how you do it. It is a little creepy, I'll admit that. I just need to figure out how someone could do it. Good call. It could be pretty easily automated, I think. I'll let you go. Bye. Hi. Can I leave this here to be picked up? Yes. Thanks. Can I leave this here for my friend to pick up? Yes. Thanks. Do you think that the Ryokan is haunted? By what? Ghosts? No. Ghosts aren't real, Nancy. I'll let you go. See you later. I got the picture you sent. I'm going to take it to that boutique she mentioned and let them do whatever it is they do. Good. So you'll be sending the book? Yeah. I was thinking I'd give it to Bess, like, hey, here's that book you want, and since I'm here, let's get dinner, and I got you a present. <sighs> whatever works. But the sooner I get that book, the better. Have you finished translating the article yet? Just about. I'll have it sent to you as soon as I finish. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Hello? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? I love it! 
Were you able to find the word to calm Suki? Yeah, it's mate. Mate. Got it. Thanks. Need anything else? Did you learn any more Suki commands? Oh yeah, get a piece of paper. I've got a bunch. Tate, that means stand. Omori, not sure what that one is. And we've got Buruwa, that means something. Oh, and Shizukani. I think that's it. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Who's my favorite robotic cat? Omawari? <coughs> What's up, cat? Suki, Buruwa! <coughs> Suki, who's a good girl? She's a Connie. Suki, who's a good girl? Suki, mate.
All right, it's open. I need to translate this. Hmm, I need a way to open this envelope without anyone knowing I did. It's late. I should get to bed. Nancy, we've got the book. Great! So when do we see you? We'll give you the book. Well, I'm a little wrapped up right now. George, did we have a friend named Nancy Drew once? Hmm, I think so. Hard to say, the name sounds familiar. Was she the one with the magnifying glass or something? Hey! Just teasing. We'll send you the book. The faster you solve the mystery, the faster the three of us get to hit the town. Thanks. You know I can't wait. No problem. Anything else? So, Bess, what's the story with you and Logan? Well, he asked me out on a date. See what I put up with for you? Such a liar! Nancy, she's such a liar! What you put up with, come on! You should have seen her when he asked her out. She looked like one of those terrible 70s paintings with the big eyes. All right, fine. I wouldn't go that far, but actually I had a really nice time with him. We're going out again as soon as he's done researching the expo for Savannah. So maybe you could put in a word with her about giving her assistant a break? I'll see what I can do. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye! Grading time! Stop! I've had it! You can't keep avoiding me! Leave me alone about this! No, you keep promising me you'll talk to me about moving, and every time I bring it up to you, you freak! It's not fair! Oh shoot! Walk away! Just like always! Well, maybe I won't be here when you get back! Ah! Ah! 
Ah, all mysteries should involve hot springs. Nanasi-san, today we learn Chado, the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony? It is much more than making tea. It is the perfect exercise of balance and courteous friendship. Many spend their lives perfecting the ceremony, but today I will simply be teaching you the basics. Sounds great. The tea ceremony is foremost a gift. You are preparing a very special visit for friends and preparing to make certain every detail is perfect. Now there is a lot to learn. Be ready. I'll be asking you questions once I've finished. Let us begin. This is called the furo. Here we have the chasen or tea whisk. Here is the chakin, the tea cloth. This is called the kensui. This bamboo ladle is called a hishaku. You place the teapot cover on the futaoki. This is the chawan or tea bowl. The tea scoop is called the chasaku. This is the tea container. It is called the natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where it belongs. Well done, Nancy-san. Wonderful, Nancy-san. Absolutely wonderful. I would be honored to be invited to take tea with you. Thanks. What was that, just a minute ago? What do you mean? I saw something. It was the wind, the power lines, and shadows. This is nothing to worry about. Why do Yumi and Miwako fight so much? You're an only child, aren't you? Well, yes, but... Siblings fight. Let me give you some advice. If you ever have children, Nancy-san, and they're not fighting, it generally means they are hiding something that they have just broken. Why doesn't Yumi want to work here? She will. She is just like her mother at that age. She listens to no one, not even herself. Why can't Miwako just take over the Ryokan? You do not understand. That is not how it works. But she's here now. It is not what Kasumi wants. What do you mean, wants? Nancy-san, I'm sorry, but I am very tired. I should rest. Hello, Nancy-san. I need to know, do you believe the Ryokan is haunted? Yes, Nancy-san. This isn't a trick someone is doing. Kasumi, she is still here. I can feel it. She's trapped and she's scared. And... She's angry. Do you really believe that? When I was a girl, the most beautiful sparrow from the garden flew into my room. I had been trying to lure it in with seeds I'd stolen from the gardens for weeks. At first, I was so excited to have her in my room, but not for long. She couldn't find her way back out. She became very scared, threw herself into the walls in a panic. I was so worried she would die. She was so small and so frightened. I opened the windows wide 
and snuck out of the room to let her calm down. An hour passed, then two, three. I'd open the door, and still she'd be there, crashing into the glass, trying so desperately to get free. Did she get out? Cosme is still here. I must help her. I'm sorry, I'm very busy. I have a delivery for you. Here. Thanks. So, how are things between you and Rintaro now? Couldn't be better. Do you remember anything about Savannah, the paranormal author? That was a long time ago. Not really. She must have been here for a while if she was writing about the Ryokan. You don't remember anything? I remember that she asked too many insensitive questions. I was happy to see her go. I know what happened to your mother. I told you to... It was an accident. I think you, all of you, blame yourselves. It wasn't an accident. But since you won't let it drop, you want to know why we all blame ourselves, Nancy? Why? Because we were all here. We were all here that night and not one of us helped her. We all just let her die alone. But you didn't know. Leave me alone, Nancy. Hello? Miwako seems a little frustrated lately. Why wouldn't she be? The way guests have been filing out. But maybe she'll finally come to her senses and move to the city with me. So you grew up next door? My dad and I moved in when I was about seven. Why do you spend all of your time here when you live just next door? Never got my room decorated right. Plus, this place has always been more fun. And Miwako's here. A and I've got my workshop. Are things not going well with Miwako and you? As usual, no. But this time, a little worse than usual. <sighs> She's mad. Really mad at me. I need a way to cheer her up. Can I help? Actually, yes. At the Pachinko Parlor, they've got this collar I keep meaning to get for Suki. If you could get that, it would be huge! Okay, I'll see what I can do. I saw some more guests just leave. They seemed pretty spooked. Yeah, those poor people. What happened? Who knows? They were too upset to make any sense. But I took care of their room after they left. I admit, it was a little spooky. Everything was torn up, like someone had taken the whole ryokan and given it a shake, and the shoji had turned this dark ash color. Something weird happened in there. Thanks for repairing my screen. That was pretty embarrassing. Oh, no problem. Easy fix. Just took a little steam to loosen the paper, a little new glue. No one will ever be able to tell. Just don't do it again, or at least wait until the paper cuts heal. Ooh, I think thinking about paper cuts is way worse than getting them. Why did I bring it up? When did the Ryokan get a reputation for being haunted? A few summers back. We were fully packed that night. It was festival time. There was this terrible scream coming from the bats. Next thing I know, the paramedics were there. This woman had seen something. She went into shock. What had she seen? She never said. A lot of people asked, trust me. But whatever she saw, or thought she saw, everyone else wanted to see it too. People started coming and pretending they could sense spirits or whatever. But a few of them... What? Uh, nothing. Never mind. It's nothing. What do you think of Yumi? She's pretty much the older sister you want to have. She's cool, she's adventurous, she's a pain, 
But no matter what, she's got your back. Although, man, can she be bossy. I'm sure she's already put you to work. Yeah, a little. That bossy thing is just her special way of saying, I am your boss, now do what I say. Is Suki supposed to be so protective? Took a swipe at you, huh? Oh, that's one of her modes. Don't take it personally. It's actually really clever. There are these command words you say, and then Suki changes into that mode. She'll be protective, or aloof, or silly. Really? Do you know the commands? I did. Can't remember where I put that piece of paper. Have you read Savannah's book? Yeah, she spelled my name wrong. She's not a good speller. Maybe she's being haunted by the ghost of bad spelling. Do you think there's anything to what it says? I remember when she was here. She was very... She has this way of looking at you. It's like she knows if you're telling her the truth or not. I'm glad she's back into regular journalism instead of this ghost nonsense. It really seemed to take its toll on her. What do you mean? She's the real deal. Not that I'm saying she can communicate with ghosts, but she really believes in all of that. And watching her, the way she'd walk around here in these half-terrified days, it made you worry about her. If you don't believe in ghosts, why did you worry? Because believing in something, that makes it real to you. To her, that whole other world is real. And that is still a very dangerous thing. A ghost doesn't need to be real to haunt you. How are things going between you and Miwako right now? You know how in the romantic movies the couple is only really happy together for like a minute at the very end? I guess so. That's sort of how our relationship is. Except the movie restarts every week. Honestly, it gets a little tiring sometimes. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello. Why does Takai think your mother's ghost... Stop. I don't indulge her, and don't you do it either. So you don't believe it? That's my mother you're talking about, Nancy. You forget that. I'll let you go. See you later. Hello, Nancy-san. Can you tell me a little about Kasumi? She would have been quite fond of you. Why is that? She always loved people who think for themselves. And she loved stubbornness. Hey! That is not always a bad quality, Nancy-san. Kasumi herself is very stubborn, was very stubborn. But it made her the most beloved of the children in her school when she was young. She could never stand to see injustice done to others. It made me very proud of her, but that also has its bad side. How so? I'm sorry. I shouldn't bore you. You must not worry about these things, Nancy-san. Do you remember when Savannah Woodham visited? I don't recognize the name. She's the one who wrote about the Ryokan. I said, I do not know who she is. Have you been to Yumi's bento stand? No. Why not? I taught her how to cook for many years. I should not have to sit on the train to try her bento. What happened the night Kasumi died? It is not always good to be so curious, Nancy-san. I'll let you get back to work. Please visit again, Nancy-san.
Ugh, creepy. I don't think I need to keep this one. That Yurei comic looks interesting. I should check it out. Rentaro seemed like he really wanted that collar. I should really get that collar for Rentaro.
Rentaro seemed like he really wanted that collar. Recording the site of a haunting might actually be a really good idea. I should look into that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kitty, how's it going? I think there's something pretty strange about Rintaro. Yeah, the way Yumi tells it, he's about as weird as they come. Do you think he could be behind what's going on? Hard to say for sure. Well, he may be strange, but sometimes strange just means... strange. Takai is really difficult to talk to sometimes. I think she might be hiding something. From what Yumi says, Takai may be a lot less sweet than she seems. How so? Yumi didn't really say, but I get the sense that she thinks Takai might be behind the hauntings. She told me that Takai never believed in the supernatural until recently, which seems a little suspicious to me. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy! Hi! That last picture of you is great! I know, isn't that one great? I'm ready to help with more bento! All right, who's next? Step right up. Fantastic! I saw the article about what happened to your mother. I'm busy. Maybe you should go. It said that you were the first one to find her. That must have been very hard. I said I'm busy. That means leave me alone. Now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi. Have you ever heard of EVP? Electronic voice phenomenon? That whole if you go to haunted places and record the ambient noise, when you turn it way up you'll hear things that are too quiet for the human ear. Ghosts, specters, all sorts of baddies. Nonsense if you ask me. But still, the idea sort of gives me the creeps. Savannah mentioned it in her book. I wonder if you know how I could try it out. Oh sure, I got something that can do that. 
I've got a bunch of little recorders, actually. I'm trying to find the right one to record new sounds for the Rentaro 4000. Here you go. Thanks. All you have to do is hook it up to the speakers over there. I have a program that edits out dead audio. Ooh, bad pun. It'll cut right to the parts that actually have recorded sound. Oh, and once I've got it fixed, you have to check out the new recorder I saw the reverse engineered a little. Okay, what's it do? It's awesome! Hi, data wireless transfer! Here's something you like, just push a button, it zips it to your computer. If you want to send everyone a message, you just speak into it, push send all, and it shoots what you've recorded to everyone's voicemail inbox. Very, very cool! I just gotta keep fussing with it. I got that collar for Suki. Oh, Nancy-san, you are the best guest we've ever had. I'm going to go give this to her now. Please, excuse me. Too hot. It looks like I got something. I should check that out. I think I should check out what I recorded. Logan told me you're writing a second ghost hunting book. Now that ain't true. Something happened to make you stop writing the book, didn't it? Yes. What happened? Nancy, I like you. So I ain't ever gonna tell you why. But I will tell you this. Don't go looking in dark corners lest you're ready to live with knowing what's hiding there. What do you know about EVP? It's a ghost hunter's best friend. In more ways than one. How's that? Well... If you're just looking to find evidence that you got a bunch of wild spirits running amok, you'll find it in your EVP recordings. How do you mean? It's very easy to hear what you want to hear in those recordings. It doesn't sound like you think it works. Oh, you'd be surprised. But one thing it does do for certain is let your eavesdrop on the whole property without drawing too much attention to yourself. If something ain't on the level, you'll hear it. But Nancy... Yeah? You might just stumble into something you don't want to hear. 
You best be ready for that. What is a yure? It's a vengeful spirit that never knew justice here on the earth. They're said to be the spirits of those who've been wronged. And they're caught up in the worst moment you can imagine. They're very angry and very, very dangerous. If that's what you're dealing with there, you best be very careful. Have you run across someone rigging doors to slam before? Sure. Now that one's older than the hills. What's the best way to do something like that? Oh, plenty ways. You can use remote control, wire and pulleys. One place I went even used air pressure. Y'all can believe that mess. Hmm, that makes sense. What should I keep an eye out for? Anything that looks out of place. Do you remember what room you stayed in at the Ryokan? Oh, now that was so long ago, I don't even have the slightest. Do you remember anything? I remember I was on the second floor, and it had this strange passageway in it. But that's about it. I got the impression they weren't too crazy about having me stay there. So maybe you should check the records for a room that they don't let out to customers. A passageway? To where? Yeah, it was bizarre. I don't really remember exactly where it went. Down into the basement, maybe? Unfortunately, I didn't have much time to explore the room before I had to leave. Can you tell me anything else about your stay here? Not much to tell. I had to leave too soon. Such a sweet family. I hate to think of what those poor girls are going through. Losing their mother so young and then having them hauntings to deal with. What happened that made you give up ghost hunting? It wasn't just one thing. It was a lot of things, really. My daddy used to tell me, Sugar, y'all be careful what you go looking for in that big old world. Chances are, you gonna find it. What did you end up finding? It ain't what I found, honey. It's what found me. What do you mean? Exactly what I said, and that's the last you're getting out of me on the topic. You got anything else you need? I'd better get going. Bye now. Nancy, what's up? I'll stop bugging you now. Talk to you later. <gasps> Someone's been in here. It looks like whoever left those footprints walked right through the wall. just do that. We're not all here to make sure that you get what you want, Yumi. No, don't stop. Please continue with your speech. I love jumping on the train to get picked on by you two. Couldn't think of a better way to spend my day. Can't wait for the mean phone messages about what an awful sister I am because I never visit. You've got to be selfish about this too. Everything's always about you. She asked one thing from you and you act like it's the end of the world. Oh, shut up, Miwako. When you're both ganging up on me, then it actually is about me. Why are you being such a brat? Brat? You want to see brat? I'll show you brat. It looks a lot like this. I can't believe you just did that. Believe it. I'm out. It sounds like she threw something in the pond. I should check that out. If a ghostly egg is what you seek, under the broken tile you must peek.
What's that? Looks like there are some rocks missing. I wonder if I could find them around the garden. The symbols here seem to represent something. I need to figure out what they mean. Hmm, strange. I've seen those markings before. Locked. This looks like bamboo. I should search the property for something made out of that.
looks like the image on the letter. This must have meant something to Kasumi if she went through so much trouble to hide it. That wasn't read before. It's really late. I should get to bed. Grade some homework. Hello. It seems like you and Rentaro were pretty close. Yes, we grew up together. I have a few memories before Rentaro, but not many. How long have you two been dating? I don't even know. A long time. You sound a little frustrated. Sometimes it's hard not to be with Rentaro. What do you mean? Never mind. I shouldn't be bothering you with this. It's not a bother. It's just that when he gets it in his mind that he wants something, there's just no stopping him. He's been pressuring me to leave here. Why is that? He keeps saying it'll be good for me, but really, he's just being selfish. I think. I really don't know. He can be so sweet sometimes, and other times it's like there's only him in the world. Is Suki wearing a new collar? Yes. Doesn't it look perfect? Lintalo must have really put some thought into this. It fits perfectly and it goes so well with her eyes. He can be so thoughtful sometimes. I think it's time for me to do something nice for him. Was Yumi here earlier? Yes. Really? I'm sorry I missed her. Don't be. Anyway, it's always Blink and you'll miss her with Yumi. You'd think she was allergic to this place. Which is fine by me. Why is that? Look, I know she's fun at first, but it's like strangers get fun, Yumi, and all we get is touchy, angry Yumi these days. Why do you think that is? If you didn't work here, what would you do? I'd... You know, it's been so long since I've been asked that. I don't know. 
something very different, something exciting with Lentaro. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Hello, Nancy san. Did you rewrite my name in red ink? What do you mean? The name scroll in my room. It's red now. It's. It's nothing to worry about. I'll have it removed. Thank you. What do you think about Rentaro and Miwako dating? Those two are so different. When they were children, you couldn't keep them in the same room. Always so much fighting. That has not changed. Except now, they say they're in love. I saw watery footprints in my room. It was very strange. You must be mistaken. No, I'm positive. No, it is not wise to joke about these things. I'm not. I do not want to talk about it. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Come again. I need to hurry before someone catches me. I need to hurry before someone catches me. I should get the teapot off the fire. my favorite robotic cat. Suki, mate. I bet the password I need is in that envelope in the puzzle box.
I need to find out which rooms haven't been occupied. It looks like this is as far back as the records go. I found watery footprints in my room. Did you see them appear? Or were they there and you found them? They were already there. Well, at least that's good. Why is that? To make wet footprints appear, you just need a wet foot and something to put it on. But when they just start appearing out of the blue, ain't nothing too good about that, especially considering what happened to the previous innkeeper. What do you mean? I know you ain't the superstitious kind. Otherwise, you'd be long gone by now, but... It ain't always good to talk about the dead, especially those not at rest. Can you think of anything else about the room you stayed in when you were here? Not really. I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, oh wait a minute now. Come to think of it. It had a, a, a carved wooden bird that triggered the passage. I hope that helps. How did you get into ghost hunting? I guess you could say I was born into it. <laughs> My daddy'd always drag me with him to these spooky old houses looking for broken down things to fix up. I guess that's where I got my star. Standing in those old falling apart houses. It was hard not to imagine ghosts coming around every corner. Used to scare me something bad, but somewhere along the road all the fear turned to curiosity. What is the scariest thing you've seen while ghost hunting? The really scary things are the ones you'll never see. But I guess one of the most frightening places I've been was this little town in the middle of nowhere in Germany. I was there writing a chapter on an old castle that the locals all said was haunted. Hundreds of years ago, the castle had belonged to this terrible family that had a reputation for all sorts of cruelty. At first, I didn't believe the stories, but the more exploring I did, the more I started to see some of the terrible things that had happened there. All those stories, they were true. Didn't find any ghosts. That would have been better, I think. Bye. Talk to you soon. Locked. I can't get out. These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out.
I'm getting out of here. Now! This carving must be the trigger to the secret passage that Savannah mentioned. Whoa! What is going on with the water? I don't like the looks of that pool. It looks like they really wanted to keep people out of here. I wonder why. It looks like I need another set of numbers. It's really late. I should get to bed. Nothing helps solve a mystery like a hot bath.
Hello, Nancy san. Do you believe that people have a sense of what's to come? You probably think I'm silly, but I do. Did Kasumi believe this? Why do you ask? Was she worried about things before the accident? I'm sorry. I must prepare. I have more lessons. Hey. So how long have you and Miwako been dating? Officially? Four years and seven months. Non-officially, longer. And before that, um, a long time of me waiting for her to stop being so stubborn and agree to go out on a date with me. What's that wooden thing in the garden? The tree? No, the wooden thing that makes the knocking noise. The door? No, the thing. I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. Maybe. What is it? It uses flowing water to make weird knocking noises that scare away the deer so they don't eat all of the flowers. Oh, that's neat. Does it work? I don't know. Deer still eat the flowers, but it's hard to tell if they're scared or not. All the, their expressions pretty much look the same. Kind of like this. Hey! What does Takai think of your relationship with Miwako? At this point, I think she considers me part of the family. Or at least she lectures me like I'm one of the family. I'm choosing to interpret that in a positive light. Miwako seems a little annoyed that you want her to leave the Ryokan. Ha! Huh. Tell me about it. Are you going to keep it up? Yeah, it's not just a selfish thing. It's for her own good, too. I'll stop bugging you now. See you later! Hi. I'll stop bugging you now. See you later. Hi. I'm ready to help with more bento. Right, another order down. Fantastic! Miwako seems like she's having sort of a rough week. Has she said anything to you about it? Oh, yeah. She's told me plenty. Really? Like what? Ah, same old story she breaks out every time she's in a bad mood. I don't want to talk about it. Great picture of Bess. Thanks! Have Miwako and Rentaro been dating long? to backdate that sort of thing, so let's just say they've been dating somewhere between two and a thousand years. 
Is it just me, or do things seem a little strained between Miwako and Rentaro? Do they? Come on, make with the details. I don't really know. It's just an impression. Ugh, boring. Nancy, if we're going to be gossip buddies, you're going to have to work on your follow-through. Miwako seems a little annoyed with Rentaro. Well, that's not surprising. Rentaro is super annoying. Super, super annoying. It's part of this reverse psychology bizarre charm he's got. When he's in one of his hyper Rentaro moods, it's like hanging out with a puppy. Except Rentaro is housebroken, and he doesn't go all crazy when there's a cat outside. Well, most times he doesn't. Do you see Rentaro much? Oh yeah, he loves the city. He's here every chance he can get. Do you know why he's so eager to move to the city? Oh, he's been that way forever. When we were kids, he and I used to jump on the train the second my mom turned her back. We weren't supposed to go into the city unsupervised, so Miss I'd Rather Break a Bone Than a Ruro Miwako never came. Although, <laughs> maybe she was right about that. We got in so much trouble every time. Do you know what Rentaro wants to do once he moves to Kyoto? Tech something? I sort of don't listen to him when he's being boring about things. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Something is strange about these pictures. I should find a place to print them out. There's a hidden message. I need to talk to Yumi about this. What's going on? There's a hidden message in all those pictures you sent, isn't there? What do you mean? All of these pictures together show a set of numbers in Japanese. This can't just be a coincidence. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? You're sure they mean something? Maybe you've been spending a little too much time at the Ryoka. I'm positive. You're right. Nice job, Nancy. But why would you do that? Why not just ask me? I know you want to help, Nancy, but that doesn't mean you can help. If you could break this code, I knew you could help me, and you did. But what do these numbers mean? That's the next step. Take a good look around, think about situations where numbers come in handy. Can you tell me a little bit more? I would, but I'm falling way behind as it is. I need your help. Come on.
Nancy, great job. Otto, Nancy, bad news. What do you mean? I didn't notice how late it was getting. I sort of made you miss your last train back to the Ryoka. You're not mad, are you? No, I'm sure I'll figure something out. I want you to stay at my apartment tonight. I want to stay at a friend's. I do this all of the time for Rentaro, so I'm not taking no on this one. Thanks. look like the numbers for one of Rentaro's nonogram puzzles. was that?
I think someone was outside your apartment trying to scare you last night. What do you mean? I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this weird writing on the window. And it said, I know your secret, Yumi. See you again soon. That's not funny, Nancy. I wasn't trying to be funny. It's true. That was written on my window, in my apartment? You're not lying? I'm not. You swear? I promise you. What does it mean? It means... It means my grandmother is right. What was she right about? Nancy, don't go back to the Ryoka. Just... just go home, okay? Find your friends and go home. Hi. Why won't anyone give me a straight answer about what happened to Kasumi? You think you're entitled to a straight answer about my life, my mother's life? Who are you, Nancy? A stranger. You forget that too easily.
hidden compartment. Who would hide something here? Better find a way to cut these cords in half, and fast! The joint near the elbow looks a lot like what Rentaro was working on in his shed. Hello, Nancy-san. Did you know about Kasumi's will? She did not have a will. She was too young. She did. I found it. No. You don't understand what you found. Whatever that says, she didn't mean it. She told you what she wanted, didn't she? And you ignored it. No. You don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You didn't tell the girls what their mother really wanted because you're afraid of losing the Ryukon. You made up all of this ghost business to scare the girls into doing what you want. Stop! Stop! You're wrong! I don't buy it. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Try me. I can't lose them too. There's no guaranteeing that they'll leave if they know the truth. Yes, there is. There is too much sadness for them here. They've forgotten about how things used to be before, before she died. They've forgotten about how this used to be our home. But why would you fake these hauntings if you want them to stay? I would never do that. I think maybe I jumped to a decision too quickly. I know you mean well, Nancy-san. You can't help us here, but thank you for trying. What really happened to Kasumi? I need to know. The police said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. What did happen? It was my job to take care of the bass. I was supposed to be there. She... She was supposed to be meeting with that Penipal friend of hers downtown. She was so excited to go. I should have let her go. I should have taken care of everything myself. But I didn't want to. I didn't like her going into the city. I didn't like that pen pal of hers. Always getting her so wound up about leaving here. So, I played sick so she couldn't go. I don't understand. The pool ledges are very slippery. You must know where to walk. There was a reason I never let her do that part. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was too selfish. She drowned that night in the bats. It should have been me down there. And she knows that. 
You can't blame yourself for that. You don't understand. I do. Accidents happen. As much as we wish they didn't, you can't keep everyone safe, no matter how hard you try. It is different for a parent, Nancy-san. Miwako and Yumi blame themselves, too. If you can't let Kasumi go, how will you be able to help the girls? I don't know if I can do that. Nancy, how's it going? There were watery footprints in my room that led straight into a wall. Why are you still there? You've lost your mind. You know how in the scary movies you always want to yell, Don't go in that door! But they never can hear you? Yeah? Well, you can hear me, so don't go in that door! Call this mystery a wash and come stay at our hotel, which has a nice ghost-free view and a ghost-free pool and tiny overpriced ghost-free packets of peanuts. That's a nice offer, but I think I'm getting close to figuring out what's going on here. Since you won't listen to reason, you're going to have to listen to George on this one. Thanks a lot, Bess. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue about what to do with this one. But Nancy, whatever's going on out there, be careful. I will, promise. I know who's behind everything. It's Rentaro. And that fake ghost of his almost drowned me. Oh no! I'm glad you're okay. Where's Rentaro now? I'm not sure, but I'm going to track him down and find out what his problem is. Be careful, Nancy. I'll let you get back to work. Talk to you later. Hello. Whatever's going on here is definitely a hoax. What makes you so sure? The ghost I've been seeing this whole time? It's just a puppet. I don't know if I should be relieved or disappointed. I thought this one was for real. What do you mean? Whenever I see something I don't understand, I need to figure it out. I know exactly what you mean. But, a little mystery in life, that's what makes life worth a living, I think. When I was a little girl coming up in Georgia, I remember those long nights when wicked old fall storms were blowing the town. I'd sit awake in my bed, too afraid to sleep. The lightning would be turning the tree branches into the most terrible monsters you can imagine. And just as soon as I was sure they were going to break through the windows and steal me away, I'd holler out for my daddy to come in and chase him away. But when he'd show me it was just the trees and the lightning, I'm sure I'd feel safe, but part of me would feel like a little bit of magic had disappeared from my life forever. I guess that's how I feel now. Nancy, you did a nice job over there. You should be real proud of yourself. Whatever comes next, I think if anyone can handle it, it's you. I should go. You take care now. No, uh, not quite right. This must be the recorder Rintaro was talking about earlier. I'll take this and leave the other one here. I should translate this and figure out what he's up to. What are you doing in here? You're the one trying to scare everyone away, aren't you? No, Nancy. I'm not trying to scare everyone away. I am scaring everyone away. The Ryokan needs to close down. But why would you want to close this place down? 
Look around you. Does this look like a good place? Everyone can sense it immediately, and it makes them leave. Everyone but you. But when I tell Miwako that you're here to collect info for Savannah's next book, you'll be out of here too. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Not so fast. Got to find a way to convince everyone about Rentaro quickly. I don't get it. You're the one who told me the ghosts aren't real. No one usually listens to that line because they want to believe in the ghosts. I didn't start that. They did. They wanted the show, and I gave it to them because enough with them and enough of this place. I asked Miwako to leave. I even left myself. Why did you come back? I can't leave Miwako here alone. I need to convince her to leave or close this place down. It doesn't matter to me. But you, it's time that you leave. Now. Look familiar? It's been on this whole time. I just push this button and I'll send everything you said to every voicemail box in the place. No, don't. Why shouldn't I? After everything you've done, your ghost almost drowned me. I really screwed up here. Let me be the one to tell her. If I do, she might forgive me. Eventually. Okay, but I'll be watching. You'd better do it. Ah, thanks, Nancy. Oh. This is going to be terrible, isn't it? Okay... Dear Hannah, Rentaro confessed to Mawako and Takai. It was not a pretty sight. After many months of apologizing and begging, Mawako agreed to allow Rentaro to undo some of the damage he'd done to the Ryokan's reputation. Instead of scaring away guests, Rentaro was using his skills to modernize the Ryokan in small, Takai-approved ways. Mawako broke up with Rentaro after he confessed. He's hopeful that one day she'll change her mind. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were him. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time in the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Residents of a German castle are being terrorized by a fearsome creature, and it's up to me to crack the case. Once I arrive at the castle, I begin to suspect that there may be more to this monster story than just superstition. As monster sightings become more frequent and creepy signs begin appearing, I find myself in danger of becoming the monster's next victim. Join me as I try to solve the case without becoming another entry in the castle's long and grisly history in my next adventure, The Captive Curse.
つき、立て。この会社、天気のスワップ、ファンクリーン。つき、立て。I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Nancy Drew, please let me in. This is Lucas, please let me out. What? What? That's what you sound like when you say that. What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No, but if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. I got it. Okay. I solved it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed. Good job. Gotta go. Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. Nancy, 
think it's Ned. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway planned for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was not great. I have to translate that. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. Telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Hi, you've reached Frank Hardy. I am busy. Hi, you've reached Marcus. I'm out. My assistant can be reached at any hour of the day or night. You must be Nancy, yes? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Shh, shh. There is certainly no monster, Fräulein, and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also a huge problem. I need your help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Fräulein, these are not dolls. Okay, what are those 
items. These are injection molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi directional place holding avatars. Oh, right. Therefore, a fully immersive strategic map inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, yes, we would call it that. But that is because in the rest of the world, games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously! That is why German board games are the best in the world! They are? Yes, they are. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which, now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. No, the other thing. Why is this game so important? You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can always use constructive criticism. Sure, I'd love to. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? I'll play blue if you play the other two colors. Oh, excellent. I won!
Nice round. What did you think? I loved it. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I said to myself, Carl, this is the one. This is a game that's going to put you on the map. Here, take this for your trouble. Thanks. I like your later hosen. Yes, yes, get it out of your system now, Fraulein. What do you mean? No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes. And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. Then why do you wear them? It's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. Who's Lucas? Lucas is the castle's other monster. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs. After a rainstorm, she drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. Okay. Thanks, Nancy. See you later. See you later, Nancy. What an interesting painting. seen that image before in one of the paintings here. Oh, that's bad. Look at that mess. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. Sorry, I will. It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels.
got it. Wait, what's that? Have to translate that. This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What a strange place to keep a key. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Male. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Nancy. What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. See you later. Catch you later. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Yes. This, this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster? He's here for you. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You're part of this story now. Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest they make cakes, these chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teas. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. How well do you know Carl? Him? 
I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. Right. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> You'll figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Afraid of what? <laughs> if you don't know by now, look around. Think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. What kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name, what kind of monster it was? That means nothing. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Karl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... what's it? A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? No. Good. You'd tell me if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. I'm not. Promise. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There is a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. 
Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, The monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. What's a Castellan? I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister, sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. Sometimes, when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? It's... it's difficult to explain exactly. She's... a lot of people say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. Do you think that? Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? I'd be surprised. But then again, no, never mind, it's nothing. What? Okay, I shouldn't be telling you this. One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. What was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually... That was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. So, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. What do you think of Carl? I think that Carl has been placed on this planet to test my patience. So you two don't get along, I take it. The fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it and then the remembering to tell people about what happened. I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. Do people around here trust Carl? Apparently enough do. He's still got the job. What can you tell me about the monster? I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. 
Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I promise. Okay. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound, it's no animal I've ever heard of. And it is definitely not human. It sounds, I don't know, frustrated? At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. What do the people who live here think about the monster? People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here... Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls, and he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. Well, then what happens? No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Huh? I wonder what this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. Nancy, what? 
What happened? You look very sad. It's my boyfriend. Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. Thanks. I need some boyfriend advice. You came to the right place. I think I need to apologize, but at the same time, he needs to let me live my life. Of course, I want him to be a big part of it, but I don't know how to explain that. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it? That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I know it will work. Oh, when I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. What's with a glass display? Ah, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days, we'd have to stop them for the moment. You make glass here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying, the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Sure, I guess. She might be right. But you could also say that the monster is also one of the old things. Can I see the glass shop? Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play Monster? Okay, what's that? The best game ever. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. Let's play around. We'll play two rounds and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. 
Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn and I'll get to guess again. When I guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead. Then the round is over and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer and I'll be the monster. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play! Should I pick a set? Yes. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some, if you can beat me at Monster. What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave, usually. And he gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people. And he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore. And he runs into the town. And he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all. And he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. What can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. What do you know about Renata? She's not so great. My dad says she's lucky that they let her come here. She has a reputation. What kind of reputation? I don't know. She steals or something. 
No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. How so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? She's just in the way. I don't like her. Okay. What do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in, like, a second. It's really weird. Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Have you seen the monster? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. It was awful. What did you see? Probably a monster. Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. Okay, go ahead. He couldn't catch a... a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it's boring. But not all of it. What do you mean? I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. What does he mean when he says that? I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. There must be a specific order to play these in. Nancy Marcus, cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Nancy, I think we need to talk. Ned, I'm so glad you called. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way, and I know that. Just forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way you are. I give what you said some thought, but I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in the fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. I'm happy to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures any time. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. It's true. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You might be right. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my sleuthing. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. Have to translate that. Oh, hello, Nancy. Would you like some food? You shouldn't have. Oh, this is too much! Hello? Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why is that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. 
It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Thanks. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? Honestly, there is not much we know about it. What do you mean? Most of us have only seen the destruction it leaves behind. But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them, and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. What happened? No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. I'd like to help you with your character again. All right. Now, what do you think? Brown fur or black fur? Brown. Thanks. I'd like to play a round of Raid. Great! All right, I win! Thank you. 
tree. All right, I win!
It's game! I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen! Dantis Marcus, call me back on the landline. This might come in handy. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great. I'm on my way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got to the town in France you wanted rich. I want everything tied up with a neat bow. Sign, seal, delivered stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking and self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite of a car, too. You prove yourself to me in this case. I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started out small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere, told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya, always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Really? Yeah, it was years ago. She didn't mention that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, scale comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. What do you know about Renata? Nothing. Is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, okay. I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them as Carl. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? 
The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Hi, Nancy. So, what can I expect from the new and improved Ned? Well, I'm not sure. I'm still in the planning stages. I think maybe I need an edgier presentation. Get a motorcycle, maybe. Stay out past 10 p.m.? Return library books at the wrong branch? Oh, no, no, that might not be the solution. Don't forget, I like you just the way you are. Then you'll like new Ned even more. Once I settle on just what that will involve, maybe I could get a hobby. Not a bad idea. It's really strange spending my time with you and Frank and Joe. You guys always have such great stories to tell, it makes me feel like I live a pretty boring life in comparison. You guys are always like, remember when we were chased by that abominable snowman that really turned out to be an international art thief and also a spy? My best anecdote from this last year is the time I accidentally said something horrible in Italian to the waiter at the pasta place. Yeah, what you said was pretty unforgivable. I had no idea. I'm just teasing. It was just a misunderstanding. And anyway, you have great stories about school and football. It's not the same. It'd be nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. It doesn't exactly work that way. Maybe, but maybe I've just not been looking hard enough. I'll let you know what I find. I could use your help with my case. Sure. What's going on? Okay. Long story short. Wait, let me guess. You're in Germany, so you're probably in a castle. And if you're in a castle, there's probably some sort of a problem. Exactly. If I had to guess, I'd say a monster and an eccentric German board game expert. You were keeping tabs on me, weren't you? Of course I was. I know you're capable of solving these cases on your own, but I still worry a little bit, especially when you're so far away. Frank kept me up to date on everything that's going on. I'm not surprised. Bye. See you soon. Hello? I called Ned. I heard. I'm glad the two of you could work things out. Me too. I didn't doubt that you would. Thanks for being such a good friend. No problem. It's good to see you two back together. Thanks. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. I've met everyone here. It's a pretty strange bunch. How so? Well, Carl, the leader here, is off in his own world working on elaborate board games. It's Anya who seems to be running things. What's she like? She's certainly no pushover. She's also a little difficult to read. Who else is there? There's Renata. She's a traveling storyteller. Interesting. What's she like? I'm not sure. She can be a little cryptic. There's something she's hiding. Knowing you, you'll get to the bottom of it in no time. Then there's Lucas, security guard's son. Loves causing trouble. Seems obsessed with pulling pranks. Yep, that's pretty common. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a prank phase. So did Joe. What made you stop? Got too busy. I think I still have a notebook full of ideas somewhere. Although most of the ideas involve variations on the bucket of water over a door theme. Gotta love the classics. Who do you think is behind the monster? I don't know. It might not even be any of them. How's Joe? He's great. He says hi. Oh, also, he wanted me to tell you something. Hang on, I had him write it down because it was too weird to remember. There we go. Dear Nancy Drew, he used your last name for some reason, I am glad you and Ned are back together. 
you go together like peanut butter and jelly. When you're apart, it's like peanut butter and sadness, or jelly and uncomfortable silences. Either way, you're looking at a sandwich that no one wants, and probably no one will buy it ever. Yep, that sounds like Joe. Tell him I say hi. Oh, you wish that was the end of the note. It goes on. A world where Ned and Nancy are not together as a couple is as disturbing as it is dangerous to the quantum makeup of our interstellar plane of reality. You know what? I'm just going to stop reading there. That's okay. I think I get the picture. It's really sweet that he cares so much. See you later. Bye, Nancy. It's the monster! He struck again quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! What happened here? It has gotten past the gates! Uh, this has never happened before! Nancy, this is different now! You better leave! No, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this! That is not a smart move! I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility! I'd better find a way to put out that fire, and fast! did some major damage out here. There's something strange stuck in that door. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. Hello? castle yet. These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. That's it. Call me back on the landline. Better find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. Marcus here. Do you believe that the monster could be real? If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my question. Didn't it? See you later. Bye!
Nancy, what's up? The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah, no one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. The monster, or something, attacked the castle. Wait, really? Yes, it was pretty creepy. When it left, I found a really weird burr. I think it might be a clue. You should try to find out where the burr comes from. If it's unique enough, it might lead you back to where the monster lives. I'll let you go. Bye. Catch you later. Hi, Nancy. So, how's your search for a mystery? Not great. So far, I've solved the case of the missing keys, and that's about it. They were in my pocket. Well, I wouldn't be worried. There are mysteries everywhere. If you keep looking, you'll find one. I'm stuck in this weird dress. Well, I'm sure it looks great. That's sweet, but it's still a little weird. The compliment or the dress? The dress. I love the compliment. Well, I meant it. I wonder what it means. Although, it might be good for you to fit in while working on the mystery. You're right. I'll let you go. Bye. See you soon. Oh, hello, Fräulein. Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway, they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. I'd like to give you more help with your character. Now the character needs a special item. Should it be a magic golden ring or a never-ending pocket full of gold coins? I want my character to wear the ring. Thanks. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. What are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. It's for the festival. It's so puffy. Are you sure you're even in there? Thank you very much, Lucas. You're welcome. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. Your what? Isn't that what everyone says on all of those TV shows? My lawyer. I need a lawyer. I ain't talking without my lawyer. That's TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? Bye. See ya. That's done. Hi, Nancy. Can you tell me a little about Lucas? Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. A little. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now, and let me know if he's bothering you. Will do. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good. But a good kid still. It sounds like these monster stories are all pretty old. Maybe that's why we're all so afraid of this thing, whatever it is. It's from that old world, just like this castle is. 
I don't think we have what it takes to make it in that world anymore. That might be true. I didn't always think so, but... Remember the last time you were somewhere when the power went out? There is that split second before you reach for the flashlight, where it feels like the bottom is dropping out of the room and you just want normal back. And for that second, there is this part of you is so scared that it will never be back. That's what it's like when I hear the monster. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. What do you know about the castle's owner? Marcus, right? He seems like a nice enough guy. He mainly deals with Carl. He's a little culturally tone deaf, but it could be worse. How so? Oh, the Bavarianization of the castle. This is not what Germany is really like. It's a theme park version of history. But that's what he wants, so that's what he gets. It's not the end of the world. I just have to wear a dirndl more than anyone should have to wear a dirndl. Honestly, though, it's not that uncomfortable. And you know, I think the old clothes look nice. Would you run things differently if you were in charge? Yeah, but that's always the story. My dad used to say, Meps always sigh when a new king takes the throne. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but... That was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were. Or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. Has Lucas always been such a prankster? Ugh. Unfortunately, yes. I swear he was trying to trick us before he said his first word. Even as a baby, he had this glint in his eye like he was up to something. It was less cute than you'd imagine, actually. Why does he seem to target Carl? I know. You are thinking I condone it. I don't. Lucas's father is always so busy running security. Honestly, I think that Lucas is a little lonely these days. He doesn't have a lot of friends at school, from what I can tell. He must like the attention. That being said, I think most of these so-called pranks are Carl's doing. What do you mean? The way he blunders through life. It's not surprising that he always thinks he's the victim of some practical joke. He's the victim of a joke, all right, but it's more cosmic than practical. Are you worried about the monster attacking the castle? I don't know. Lately, it feels like a rubber band is being stretched back somewhere, and at any moment it's going to snap and smash everything to smithereens! Maybe that's the monster! Maybe that's something else. Don't you feel a little bit silly worrying about a monster? Yes, but I don't know. The history here was those poor girls who've gone missing. The first thing I learned when I started here is that this castle has a dark past. It's just as silly to assume things are going to be okay. So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye.
What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! No, change first. We will talk later. What happened? Who would do something like this? I'd better hang on to this. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. This is bad. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Do you think the stories are real? I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you, you need to live as if it was true. You said I know. What do you know? I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. You're right. You know the expression, truth is stranger than fiction? Yes. It is true, especially here. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here... I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Do you and Karl get along? No. Why is that? I ask you. Do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. You can't trust someone like that. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. Why are you really here? What do you mean? Anya told me you have a habit of showing up whenever there's talk of the monster. Is that true? Trust me, I don't keep track of gossip when I'm traveling. The weather, yes. The gossip, no. From what I hear, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. I'd watch what I said if I was you. Oh, hello, Nancy. Do you have a home, or are you always on the road? Of course I do. Where is it? Here. Here's home. Wherever here may be. It seems like it would be lonely, always traveling. It is. You're always leaving home. But then again, you're always heading home. Do you have a family? I did, a long time ago. What happened? I've lived to be very old. Not everyone is as lucky as I am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. We had beautiful days while they lasted. Would you like some food? You shouldn't have. Oh, this is too much! I need to get to that box without waking Renata up.
I better hang on to this. I need to figure out the color code to open this. What's Renata up to? It seems like she's tracking the monster. There's a dungeon in this castle. I'd better find it. It's locked. This is the lowest room in the castle. I should be able to find the dungeon through here somehow. This could come in handy.
I hate snakes. The old snake prank. I bet Lucas is behind this. That's too hot. This looks like it's about the legend, and there are letters in the corner. Looks like something could fit in here. Yes. Do you do a lot of traveling? Yes. What's your favorite thing about traveling? These days, less and less. Since I've been a little girl, the world has decided to spend each day forgetting what makes it special. What does that mean? A long time ago, when you would travel from town to town, each place would be different. You'd never know what you were going to find over the next hill. But now, it's all the same. Now you just wonder, will the fast food place be on the left side or the right side of the street? I feel bad for your generation. There is less to explore. I still think there's a lot to see. There is, but there is also less. What you think of as wild now is nothing. Too many people want to tame this world, and too many people think that they have. What do you mean? The world is a dangerous place. It will always be. Your grandparents and parents spent their lives rounding the sharp corners off of the world to make it safer. But all that they've done is make the world uniform and boring. It is still just as cruel and deadly. I agree. Where are you going after this castle? I don't know yet. Wherever I'm needed next. Do you think you're needed here? I must be if I'm here. What do you mean by that? You must learn to relax. Don't pull all of the mystery out of your life. It's no fun that way. Have you ever seen anything as strange as this monster on your travels? No, but I've heard stories. Every place with a history and a dark corner has its own monster to worry about. Why do you think that is? Two possible answers. The world is either full of bored people or extraordinarily shy monsters. Why do you have such a bad reputation? That's not up to me to decide or care about. Why is that? I have more interesting things to think about than my reputation. And so do you. Are storytellers still in demand? No. Today people want flashy computer games and big budget movies. They want instant gratification. The old stories they traveled from one storyteller to another for millennia. Now they are dying off. Ah, oh, that must be sad for you. No. I know the stories. You do not. It is sad for you. How much longer do you plan on being a storyteller? As long as I've got teeth, false or otherwise. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Fräulein. What's the story with the De Ungeheuer Lichtkeit Nacht Festival? Oh, it's simply the best night of the year! Well, normally it is. This year, I don't know. What does the festival celebrate? Every year, the whole castle gets together to celebrate another year without a monster sighting. I don't understand. Why are you having a celebration this year? There are strange things going on, but we're not sure that it's the monster. Also, we we already paid for the custom-made cake. Well, if you've already got the cake. Truth is, it's best to give everybody something positive to focus on. These are frightening times. I keep finding references to these missing girls. Those I do not like to talk about. You're supposed to help me out here. I need to know what they mean. 
Those girls, they're the monsters past victims. What do you mean? This monster, this is not the first time he's been to this castle looking for a victim. I have gathered that. Why are the victims always young women? No one knows. Some say that the monster takes a bride and that the two live together deep in the forest. Is that what you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now. What do you think happens? I do not want to know. Those girls never come back. That alone is enough to keep me up at night. And Nancy, if the monster is back, you do well to distance yourself from what you see in those paintings. What do you mean? We can only guess what will happen next by what's happened before. And if anyone here looks like one of the girls in the paintings, it'd be you. I'd really like to help with your character. Now you should choose hero or monster. Hero. Thanks. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. I need to recreate the pattern with the pieces I have here. I better take this with me. Hello again, Nancy. Can you tell me a little more about the festival? It's the best. It's a shame that you're here this year. Normally, it's so much bigger. It's this big get-together with lots of dancing and great food and great stories. Oh, and there is this fantastic cake. It's just amazing. What is the festival a celebration of? Well, the story goes that when the monster took his first victim, the whole castle got together and built a huge bonfire and took an oath to find and destroy the monster. They met each year to renew their pledge, and they burn a monster made of sticks in effigy. But as the years went by, it just became an excuse to get the whole castle together for a fun night. Well, that's the story most years. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Nancy, come down here. I need your help. Can you go distract Carl? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. Can you do it? Sure. You are my favorite new person in the world, Nancy. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. I hear you have a reputation as a prankster. If you want to call it that, I guess that you could. But really, they're not just pranks. They're something better. Like what exactly? I don't know. But pranks are stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. What do you have planned? You'll see. Something good. The people around here will be talking about it for years. Do you know what the stories about these missing girls are all about? I heard that all those girls, they were killed by the monster. Do you think that's true? I hope not. Do you like living here at the castle? Yeah. It seems like a weird place to grow up. I don't know. It's not boring like some places. 
Did you know that hundreds of years ago, they used to have a gallows here, and you could see it right from my window? When I visit my uncle's place, he just has a grocery store outside of his window. Do your school friends like to visit the castle? No. Really? It seems like a place where all the kids would want to hang out. Yeah, well, they just don't, okay? I don't exactly have a lot of friends. Why's that? No one wants to hang out with creepy Lucas. Is that what they call you at school? No, but they think it. It's the castle and all of the bad things that have happened here. I bet they're just jealous that you get to live in a castle. No, they're really afraid of this place. And since I'm not, they say I must be creepy too. I'd like to play a round of monster. Cool! round. Bye. Bye, Nancy. That's the same kind of burr that I found in the storefront. Ow! I'd better find a way to clear a path first. There's a camp back here. This will definitely come in handy. It looks like this was dropped accidentally. I wonder what it's for.
To find the egg, dig near the vegetable vampire sphere. that all of the edges that are touching need to match up. I'd better take that stone tile with me. I don't want anyone following me through. Looks like it's about the monster legend.
A map of the passages. This should come in handy. This looks like the other code, but the pictures are different. This looks just like the boulder I saw in that old picture. Let's see what that girl was hiding. Aha! A necklace. It's so old. This must be what the girl was hiding. I wonder why. I'd better keep this. Hi, Nancy. Can you help me distract Lucas for a minute by staying at your desk? He wants to set up a prank for you. I will sit here and be your unsuspecting prank victim. And finally, I will be able to catch him in the act. I'd like to help you with your character again. Excellent. Now your creation needs a name. Should it be the Great Bear or Ursa Major? The Great Bear. Thanks. Tell me about the accident. What are you talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> this castle, it is very old. It is not built for so many visitors. When I started, I thought it would be nice to have tours, take people around. Right. I took a group down into the dungeon. I thought it would be fun to show them the cells. I did not know what would happen. I really did not. What happened? I closed the door and the whole room collapsed. Ugh, was everyone okay? No one died, but a few came very close. I stood on the other side of the door and there was nothing I could do. Is that why you don't want tourists here? I am a magnet for bad luck. It is best that I be left alone. Why do you say you're a magnet for bad luck? You will think it's silly. No, I promise I won't. When I was a boy, I took a train to Berlin with my father. He fell asleep, so I wandered the train. In the pack, I found a boy my age to play with. Strangely, he looked just like me. Like a doppelganger? Exactly like a doppelganger. The boy was very strange. The whole time we played together, he did not say a single word. Very unnerving. Eventually, my father found us. He had this expression I'd never seen before. At first, I thought he was angry I'd wandered off. But no, he was scared. He grabbed my arm and yanked me back to our car. I remember looking at the boy, and he had the oddest smile. I don't understand. 
You must never meet your doppelganger. And if you see yours one day, run! To allow them even a moment in your life is to be cursed like me. You don't really think you're cursed, do you? After that day, everyone I loved, everyone I cared about got hurt or fell ill. So I moved here. Why? Some people hide in castles to stay safe behind the walls. I use these walls to keep the world safe from me. But now, you see, even that isn't working. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It's not. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. I'd like to play a round of raid. Great!
round. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. I found a strange necklace out in the forest. It's like the necklaces in the gift shop, but much older, I think. Yes. Much, much, much older. You must get rid of this. Why? Because it's dangerous. That's why. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Hello again, Nancy. I found this necklace. What do you make of it? This... This is not like the necklaces I sell. This is... old. I'm not certain, but that might be the original necklace. What does that mean? I don't know, but I wouldn't be carrying that thing around. That's what all those girls were wearing when... Well, you know. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Delicious. Hi. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Yes. Would you like some food? That looks delicious! Hi. Would you like some food? Oh, that. Ah, uh, all right. Are you back to play more Monster? Sure. Cool.
around. Okay, Carl is distracted. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. The middle of this message is in some sort of code. I bet if I try moving the letters around in the columns, I can figure out what it says. Got it! I need to track down these locations and find all of the hidden notes. This must be one of the musical notes I need. must be another of the musical notes I need.
engraving must be one of the letters that Lucas's dad was talking about. be one of the hidden notes. There's a letter G on the doorbell. I bet it's another one of the notes I need. Looks like I need a key. Looks like I need a key. There must be directions for how to use this somewhere. I wonder what this does. I should try that with my phone. All right, it looks like I'll be getting security alerts on my phone now. Looks like it's missing two dials. There must be cameras throughout the castle. Is that Renata? What's she doing there?
Everyone must have an area of the castle to secure when the alarm rings. This could come in handy. I have to translate that. It says Anya. Could it be for the shop? What was Renata doing with the clocks? Renata must have dropped this. I should figure out what it's for. Nancy? What were you doing in the shop? I don't remember being in the shop. But I saw you. I'm sure you did. I'm an old woman. I can't be expected to remember everything. I think you're just hiding behind that to avoid answering my questions. Just wait. Should you live to be an old woman, you'll know what it's like. Bye. Goodbye. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This is not a drill. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This message will not repeat. Third clock from left, 1921. This must be how Renata opened the clocks. I'll need to try this out myself. isn't quite right. Why would Anya print these emails and keep them here? I bet I could use this on one of the clocks. Get out of there now! There's someone in the courtyard. It's the monster! I better go see if I can track it. <gasps> it's the monster! It hasn't noticed me. I should try to get closer without being seen.
I can't open it. I can't open it. It looks like that one lever is blocking the rest. I need to see if I can slide it free. was too close. Well, this certainly proves it was not my imagination. What's up? I got stuck between the castle gates. Did you have anything to do with that? No, but I did lock you out when you first got here. Remember that? Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, yeah. Are you worried about the monster? Yeah, I, I think I saw it. I, I mean, I really did see it. But maybe not. Should I not believe in it? Do you know something about the monster? I don't really believe in monsters. Usually it's just someone pretending. You sound like my aunt, always telling me that monsters aren't real. Well, she's right. But I can tell even she doesn't believe what she's saying. Monsters aren't real. If monsters aren't real, then why do castles exist? And suits of armor? And swords? It can't all be pretend if the rest of this stuff is here. You do have a point there. I do? You're not supposed to keep saying that monsters are real. You're supposed to say that they're not. That's how it goes. I'm never getting to sleep tonight. What's up with all of the signs everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are weird, right? Who put them up? Carl? He's always so worried about everything. They used to be funnier, but then they made him change them. What is Carl so worried about? Who knows? He's pretty good at worrying. You seem to know a lot about what happens in the castle. Totally. 
Oh, do you want to hear a secret? Sure. Carl has a bunch of love letters in his desk. You've got to see them. They are really funny. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Something isn't quite right. Why would Anya print these emails and keep them here? I bet I could use this on one of the clocks. This must have been what Renata was hiding. Got it.
I wonder what Lucas is doing with these. Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. See you later. That must be the Freiherr's daughter from the legend. I need to find an undamaged version of this painting. Oh, hello, Fräulein. Is my card ready? Here you are. Thanks. It looks like the monster had a target in mind when he attacked the courtyard. Do you think he's going after someone in particular? No, I do not think that is the case. I wish it was, though. Why is that? Then we would know what to expect. So, how did it go with Lucas? I did not catch him in the act. I don't want to talk about it. Who are all those letters to? What? Sorry, I just sort of saw them. No one. Why write so many if you're not going to send them? That is none of your business. Thanks, see you later. Goodbye. Hello again, Nancy. Someone just trapped me in the gates out front. What? What do you mean? I saw the monster, and suddenly I was trapped between the castle gates. Who knows how to operate them? Everyone. There's really not much to them. But you saw the monster? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Should we warn everybody? No. I'm not even sure it was really a monster. Ah, good thinking. We need to be sure. We need proof before warning everybody. Keep working at it, Nancy. I'm sure you can do it. See you later. Bye, Nancy. I wonder if this could be the undamaged version of the painting of the Freiherr's daughter. I should take a closer look at this postcard. I keep finding codes around the castle. I don't know what to tell you about that. Could be the kid, maybe? I love stuff like that when I was young. If he's cool, he's probably got a decoder around here somewhere. The monster got past the gates. Really? Really. So that gate salesman wasn't kidding. Well, that's a game changer. So if you could do me a favor and step up your efforts and get rid of the monster on the quick, that would be great. Okay, thanks. You are the greatest. I understand you're having financial problems. Nope, I'm very rich. I found an email from you that says otherwise. I'm afraid that I don't know what you're talking about. The email says that things are tough and that the castle's going to have to make changes soon or dramatic action will have to be taken. Not the case. So the castle is doing well financially? All due respect, but I am not going to discuss my financials with you, Nancy. So what exactly is your business? It's simple. I, I take money, shuffle it around, and then BAM! Additional money. That's not very specific. You sound like my financial advisor. Are you planning on selling the castle? No. I found an email that says otherwise. Whatever you think you have found doesn't concern me. What did you mean about using the castle's history to bring customers in? I don't know what you're talking about. It was in an email you wrote. I doubt it. Now, unless you have some big news about the monster, I suggest that you get back to work. Someone put out a traditional costume, but no one will say who. Wow. I do not care about that problem. Put it on. Have fun. See you later. Get it done. Hello? 
I found a dungeon. That is really cool. I wish I was there. Anything interesting in there? Well, if creepy is interesting... I got stuck between the castle gates, and when I was in there, I got a good look at the monster. Really? What did this monster look like? That's the thing. It looked pretty real. I'm not saying that it was, but it was actually a little startling. Did you see anything? Any sort of clue? Well, a piece of fabric was left behind, but that's it. I found some strange emails from the castle's owner. He seems pretty worried about money. Not exactly what you'd expect from a person who owns a castle. Really? It seems like a castle would be the definition of a money pit. True, but if you own a castle, you're probably doing okay financially. I wouldn't be so sure. It looks like he's pretty desperate to bring people into the castle. Desperate enough to pull off a dramatic stunt? Maybe, but then why would he hire me to investigate? Good point. Renata seemed really upset when she saw me in this dress. Did she explain why? No. It's an older style, isn't it? Maybe it reminds her of something from her past. I changed into a costume, and when I got back to my room, my clothes were shredded. Shredded? Yeah. That is bad. Someone is definitely trying to send you a message. I know, but what's the message? It seems like this person wants you to stick around, and they want you to be in costume for the festival. And they're trying to scare me. Well, that's a tall order. I could really use some money. Try seeing if there is anything you can do for the people around the castle. I found a weird pair of stilts. Huh. Well, maybe you should look for a short person, or someone with unreasonably high shelves. Good plan. I think I found what that girl was trying to hide. Yeah? What was it? A necklace. Supposedly, all of the monster's victims wore this necklace. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Hiya, Nancy. I found the castle's dungeon. Wait, a real dungeon? Yeah. Dungeons are crazy if you think about it. I'm so glad they are not that common over here. Agreed. You know, it just occurred to me that someone had to invent the first dungeon. Invent? Well, they didn't always exist, so one day someone had to say, you know, the living room is nice and the kitchen's great, very convenient, don't get me wrong, but you know what would really spruce up the place? Our own private jail. When you put it that way, it does sound really strange. No joke. I'd steer clear of that place if I were you, at least as much as you can. I found an article in the Castle Crier about Carl wanting to keep tourists away from the castle. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion. It seems like he'd want the castle to be packed. I know, right? That sounds a little suspicious to me. I'd try to snoop around, see what's really going on with him. I'm on it. Apparently, Anya and Marcus used to date. Anya and the castle's owner? Yeah, she seemed really reluctant to talk about it. It might be a sensitive subject for her. I think it might be. She seems a little upset still, but I think it's in the past for both of them. Well, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry about it. So, how's Joe? The same old Joe. It's hard to be in a bad mood around Joe. Have you noticed that? Yes, it's like he won't stand for it. I know. He'll just wear you down until you agree to have a good time. He and Frank are really good friends to have. I agree. I asked Carl about the accident in the dungeon. And? And it was just that. He was giving a tour and part of the dungeon collapsed. Everyone was okay in the end, but it really seems to have upset him. Maybe that's why he's not so keen on having tourists. That's it, exactly. He seems to think that he's cursed, and everything that happens only reinforces that idea. And if you believe you're cursed, you might as well be cursed. It's like the story of the monster. How so? The people here believe that there's a monster, so they only pay attention to evidence that... That backs up what they already believe, right? So they're an easy group to trick, if you wanted to. But who would want to? I don't know. I'm working on it. Any great ideas? Not yet but I'll be on standby if you need me. Carl has a bunch of unsent love letters in his office. Interesting. How do they seem? They seem like love letters. I mean, do they sound excited or manic or worried? I guess, if anything, they seem a little sad. It's almost like he's given up on things working out but can't bear to get rid of the letters. I wonder why that is. Maybe the relationship didn't work out because he's stuck at the castle. Could be. So how's the search for adventure coming? I've found the perfect thing. What's that? 
It's a bit of a surprise, but we'll need a team. Maybe Bess and George? Perfect. I can't tell you too much more, but we'll need the perfect team name. I'll work on it. Great. This is going to be so much fun. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hello again, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. See you later. I wonder if there's anything behind that sticker. It looks like there were letters in the corner of the original painting. What's up? So, how did the prank go? Pretty good. Not my best. Bye. Bye, Nancy. I need a key. Let's see what Carl's up to. That's the fifth color-coded entry. I wonder what that means. It's locked. Castle cast. I should give them a call. I have to translate that.
Hey, Nancy. I'd like to play a round of Monster. To Monster Stadium. Okay, here you go. See you later. See you later. Hi. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I'd like to play a round of raid. Great!
You are very good at read. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, reenactments, Renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy Drew. What solution can I provide for you today? I'm staying at a castle that you're staffing. Can I get a little background information about the employees here? Oh, I'm very sorry. I can't give that information out without proper clearance. Thank you for calling. Hi. I keep finding references to girls who have disappeared. What do you know about that? Yeah, I, I've heard something like that. Uh, wait, are, are you getting all wrapped up in this nonsense? Not exactly. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Fair enough. Truth is, it's a castle. It's really old. On a long enough timeline, everything develops a scary history. At least that's what the castle salesman said. I wanted to look up some background information about the employees here. Can you give me clearance with Castle Cast? Sure thing. I'll do the right after we hang up. What is Castle Cast? Staffing people. Why do you use them? I don't have the time or interest to do the interviews here myself. They do it, and I spend their time doing anything but that. You seem to be pretty hands-off. Of course, I paid my dues, trust me. So now I do what I want, it's pretty sweet. Hey, who, who taught you how to dive? Was it the stupidest dog on the earth? Because that is what it looks like! I tell you, Nancy, no one has manners these days. See you later. Bye. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for jesters, terrified astronomers, pitchforks, torches, and horse uniforms. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm following up about the castle. Oh, yes. I spoke with your boss. Ask away. What can you tell me about Anya Mittelmeier? Oh, Anya, she was just the greatest. We all loved her so much. Please tell her that Jordan says hello and that getting the mail will never be the same without her. Getting the mail? Yeah, she delivered the mail. She did a really good job, too. And oh, we all just loved her. So she wasn't a manager? A manager? No. Sorry, are we talking about the same Anya? Anya Middlemeyer? Yes, that's the one. No, there must be a mistake. That's what it says on her resume. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it's not true. I'm really sorry. Do you know anything about Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival? Well, isn't that quite the mouthful? No, but it sounds delightful. Can you tell me anything about Franz? Is he one of ours? think so. He's head of security. Then he's one of the best. We don't take security lightly. Do you ever send emails on behalf of Marcus? Oh my, no. That would be strictly against company policy. Is that in the pamphlet? If it isn't, it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about your publications? Sure. We have many to choose from. I'm curious about the email guide. We had some problems with email signatures getting a little long a few years back, and that's no laughing matter. So we made a little guide. Did it go to all employees? Sure did. I got two copies myself. It's one of my favorites. Do you think she'd be the type to lie on her resume? Not the Anya I know. Thanks for your help. If you're a staffing place, wouldn't you notice Anya lied on her resume? What position is she in? Castellan. Sorry, that's management. She must have gotten the job internally. 
Probably from whoever is in charge at the castle. Do any of the other places you staff have monster problems? Not that I know of. Except... Except what? We've got one place that keeps having these large humanoid holes put into the wall. But we think that's just a group of kids. Really? Do you have any evidence of that? No, but these kids these days. <laughs> Am I right? Can you tell me about your wizard discount? Oh, I'm sorry. That's been discontinued. Thank you for asking. Can you tell me a little more about Anya? I can't tell you too much. It would be against policy. Please, it's important. All right. You just seem so darn nice I couldn't say no. Truth is, she was a sweetheart. Everyone liked her. Did she ever do anything strange or dishonest? Nope, she didn't. I'd have given her the full recommendation of this office. But it wouldn't have been enough. Why not? Castellin. That's a pretty great job. A lot of people would want it. Now, I don't approve of how she got that job. But she would not have gotten it any other way, I guess. Do you know anything about Castle Finster? Sorry, I'm... Wait. Finster? Castle Finster? Yes. Is that where you're calling from now? Is that where Anya works? Yes and yes. Crazy. So are the stories about the monster true? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't believe that's where Anya ended up. Talk about lucky. Why is she lucky? Getting to go to exotic places and work in a castle? That's luck right there. Well, maybe luck isn't the right word. I've never gotten to travel, and believe you me, I would love to get on a jet and just end up halfway round the globe, but that's not how things go. Is there anywhere in particular you'd like to travel? Oh, yes. I'm a history buff, so there are lots of places I'd love to see. The pyramids, the Roman Forum, the Acropolis. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's more than fun. I think it's my duty to see the world. I mean, it's here. It seems like a waste just to stay here and never go celebrate Cinco de Mayo in Mexico or Canada Day in Canada. Maybe one day. What other pamphlets do you have? We have. So you want to host an office party? Don't. That one's popular. We also have, let's be reasonable about office supplies. I helped write that one. And, well, we have so many. Oh, and my new favorite is, so you decided to pretend to be sick and then posted pictures of yourself having fun online while everyone else is working. It's firm, but fair. Bye. Goodbye. Hi. I call Castlecast. The employment place? Why would you do that? I was curious about the monster sightings. I wanted to see if they knew anything more about it. What would they know? You shouldn't be bothering them anyway. They must be very busy. You mean you don't want me to find out that you lied on your resume? Too late for that. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You lied on your resume. I have proof. Why would you do that? Okay, I did, okay? What was I supposed to do? I wanted this job more than anything. You could have been honest. I was honest. I was honest every day. I worked hard at my job every day. No one noticed how hard I worked. No one cared. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would hurt anyone. I love this job. I love this castle. I knew that this was the place for me. I just got a little carried away. That still doesn't make it right. I know, Nancy. I know it doesn't, but... 
I knew that no one would ever give me a chance if they thought I was just some poor girl who never went to a fancy school. I don't know. You know, there are people who are born surrounded by opportunity, and they squander it. I think that is worse than what I did. I wanted this job more than anything. It was the only way I could build a secure future for myself. Please, I'm begging you, please don't tell. If I don't, you need to. I'll be checking. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I will. As soon as I can. I promise. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. Monster breached castle security. Monster currently in castle. This is not a drill. This message will not repeat. It's the monster again. Those footprints have a really odd shape. They seem to be heading back to the hall. I should follow where those prints lead. <clears throat> Whoa! It's you! What are you doing? Uh, nothing? Okay, you got me. But this is the first time I've done this, I swear! Yeah, I've heard that one before. This isn't my first- <gasps> What's that? What's what? Ah! Shh! What is that? See? It wasn't- See? It wasn't me. Also, you have to admit, my costume looked pretty- Oh dang, it just looked at us! Lucas, quiet! I need to see which way he's going. I'm out of here. Nancy? What's the real story with the monster? I do not know enough to say for sure, but I do know it is tragic. There are two choices. One, the monster's real. He's a living mystery, some terrible abomination hiding in the woods, something that doesn't belong in this rational world. It could just as easily be something else. Something worse. Like what? The worst monsters are self-made. There are people like you, and like me. But they have taken a terrible turn. They let everything awful, everything sad take up all of the breathing room in their hearts until all they know is revenge. But if it's just one person, why the pattern? Why always the same girls? That, I don't know. Every generation has its troubles, Nancy. When the troubles can't be contained, the monster comes out. One thing I do know, it's monsters, human or otherwise, can't stand hope. They can't stand being near a good heart. They try to destroy anything honest and good. They can't bear to remember how they once were. Has anyone tried to fight the monster? What do you mean? Seems like some of these girls could have used some help. Aren't there usually knights in shining armor in old castle stories? Yes, there were as many knights in shining armor back then. In fact, there are many around today. Do you know what that really means, knight in shining armor? A hero who saves the day. No. A knight in shining armor never did nothing for nobody. He never fought. 
A knight in dented, scraped armor. Now that's what you want. You want a knight in shining armor? Go see Karl. Anyway, what's with this light talk? You hardly seem like the damsel in distress type. True. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. See you later. Goodbye. Hi, Nancy. I have big news. What? I just caught Lucas dressed up as a monster. I knew it. I knew it was him this whole time, and here I've been worried that some monster was coming back. Can you believe that? How silly had I been a monster? <laughs> as if such a thing could actually happen these days. I'm such a fool. Well, I guess it's time to have a party anyway, but instead of being about the monster showing up, it will be about sending that scoundrel to the strictest military school on the planet. By the time they're done with him, you know, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is there anything worse than military school? Hmm, I should ask the internet. No, wait. There must be. Could I send him to the circus? Is that still done? Ooh, I could send him on a walkabout. Hmm, I doubt his father would like that. Wait, you need to let me finish. Yes, Lucas was dressed up as a monster, but after I caught him, I saw the actual monster. You mean you saw Lucas as the monster? No, wait, I'm confused. What did you... I saw the monster, or something. I don't know exactly what I saw, but it wasn't Lucas. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, that is disappointing. No, 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 no. I'm sure it was just your imagination. You've got the real culprit. I'll call Marcus and let him know that you've got everything under control. Nice job, Nancy. I'm positive I saw something. If I leave now, you'll still have the same problem on your hands. I'm not sure I believe it. I had my suspicion that it was Lucas. It's true. I'll prove it to you. You can try, but as far as I'm concerned, you've caught our monster. You should be proud. I've spent many years trying to catch that little monster in the act, and he's always just way too fast for me. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you for not getting me in trouble. For that, I'm going to help you track down that monster. No, you don't need to do that. I'm on it. Hi. I just found Lucas dressed up as the monster. What? Really? Oh, that kid is in for it now. <laughs> How does costume look? See, I knew all this was nonsense. You know, I've got to give him credit. He had us all pretty worried. Oh, he is in so much trouble. I ask you, what is the appropriate punishment for something like this? Wait, when I caught Lucas, the two of us saw the monster. What do you mean? Are you sure? Positive. So this creature is wandering around now? And of course, Carl is doing nothing about it, as per usual. How many times did he tell me he was sending out patrols? I've got it all under control. There is nothing to worry about. Blah! So incompetent! Bye. Bye, Nancy. I wonder what she wants in the forest.
looks like Renata knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. I need to check those sites out. This was the site on the map. I should wait and see if the monster appears. Another coded message. I need to figure out what it says. The lid's stuck. Need to find something that'll pry it off. I can't open a barrel with that. That looks exactly like what the monster was wearing. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. to find another way out. Hi. How did you become a storyteller? Nah, it's a long story. What? Nothing? That was a joke! Always Americans, you have to tell them you are making a joke. Come now, we do it again. What? Ask again. Okay, how did you become a storyteller? Nah, it's a long story. I say this jokingly. <laughs> I get it, but I'm still curious. All right. A pity, love. That's enough. I can move on. It was bad times. Between the wars, I was out with my father and my sister. We had been traveling for a long time. Very long. My sister, she was very sick with a fever, and it was raining. She needed a warm fire very badly. My father and I knew this. Finally, we see a fire in the distance and a group of men. Like I said, it was bad times. Everyone was very scared and very used to fighting, sometimes killing, to get by. I could see my father was afraid. He said, follow me. If they do not laugh, you must run. I followed him. We got to the fire. The men, they grabbed their guns. I thought, this is the end. My father looked at them and he said, gentlemen, you smell bad. You're ugly and your mother's dress, you funny. What? I know, I know. Dead silence. Then... Suddenly, the biggest one with a scar like this. He starts to laugh. Then they all do. Next thing, we are by the fire. My father, he tells stories all through the night. My sister, she's okay. In the morning, we leave as friends. And I knew, I just knew I wanted to be like him. I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? In the passages. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. That story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. You're half right. How so? I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. That is not what matters, I guess. Is that why you're here? Yes. I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do, but still I have to come. 
That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Yes, it would. Nancy? Yes? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Nancy, did you think of any team names? The Clue Crew. Ooh, edgy. It's perfect. I keep finding these references to the monster's past victims. What have you found out? Is there a pattern? I can't figure it out yet. The story seems to be that when the monster comes to the castle, he's always on the lookout for someone who reminds him of his previous victims. That's really creepy. How did a story like this get started anyway? I read in one of my classes that people love to find patterns in random things. I've heard of that. I think that may be going on here. A few accidents happened and everything snowballs. Pretty soon it looks like a pattern. And if there's a pattern, there must be... A monster. Right. It looks like someone is using the story to their own benefit, if you ask me. I can't figure out why the monster would target certain people. Is there something that the victims have in common? There must be something. I'll look. Any more ideas about the story behind the monster? It's pretty theatrical if you think about it. How so? Costumes, props, it's almost like someone is trying to put on some sort of creepy show. You know, you're right. Interesting. Unless there really is a monster, which is unlikely, right? I found out that Anya lied on her resume. That's pretty bad. Are you going to do anything about it? When I talked to her, she seemed pretty sorry about the whole thing. That still doesn't make it right. I know, but I think Anya needs to take responsibility for fixing this herself. I agree. When I caught Lucas, I saw the real monster. Carl won't believe me, though. Why not? He wants proof. What kind of proof? I'm not sure. A picture of the monster, maybe? That sounds dangerous. Were you much of a prankster when you were a kid? Oh, of course. Pranking people was so much fun, although it wasn't as easy as you'd expect. Why not? Well, you've got this elaborate setup, and you want it to be this big show-stopping thing, and everything has to be just perfect or everything's a wash, so lots of times you've got everything all set up, but your victim just won't go in the right room or something like that. It's pretty frustrating. Ned, that's it. What's what? That's what this is like. The dress, the necklace, the stories I keep finding. These are all pieces of a big setup. And once everything is perfect... What? Then the monster strikes. And wait, what did you say about show-stopping? What did you mean by that? Well, you've got to have an audience, or it's not fun. Marcus and the investors. What? I've got to get to the bottom of this before Marcus gets here. What? Why? Think about it. If you wanted an audience, who better than the owner and the investors he's trying to impress? Good point. How much time do you have? I'm not sure. Not long. I think that I've been cast as the next victim. What do you mean? The dress, the necklace, all of the weird warnings I've been getting? Nancy, you need to get out of there fast. I can't just walk away from a case. I'm not sure I even could if I wanted to. I wish I wasn't so far away. Do not put yourself in danger. You've got to play it safe. I will, I promise. See you later. See you soon. <laughs> Hey, Nancy. I discovered what the stilts were for. Yeah? Lucas was dressing up as the monster. So, case closed. You're on the next flight home? Not exactly. When I caught him, I saw the real monster. This place has too many monsters. Do you think something like a monster could really exist? Sure. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. You really think so? Well, it sounds crazy, but it's true. There are plenty of monsters in the world. We just give them names and pretend that they're reasonable. Like what? 
Like sharks. There is no way that sharks are not monsters. Have you seen those things? They have a scientific name now that we have learned all we can about them, but take a swim with one and tell me it's not a monster. No, thank you. Right. So whatever it is that's scaring people, it may turn out to actually be something else. But if everyone is this scared, it is a monster. I think I might be in danger. Why? What's happened? Someone is trying to draw attention to the castle by making the monster myth come true. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I think I've been brought in to be the next victim. The necklace, the dress, the stories, it all adds up. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm right yet. Nancy, if that's true, then this is very serious. I know. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Ah, Nancy, do you mind if I ask you a question? This has been bothering me. Why are you here? What do you mean? Marcus explained why you were coming here, but it doesn't make sense why he'd send you to solve this problem. You're just a kid. It's not right that he should send you. I'm not a kid, and I'm good at getting to the bottom of tough mysteries. I've heard, but something about this seems wrong. Marcus or whoever recommended you be sent here, maybe they had not the best of intentions. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I'm going to figure out what's really going on here. Is that what you think? I hope it is true. I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. Do you believe me now? This is not good, not good at all. If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. Why would Anya be going out into the woods? What do you mean? I saw her go into the forest. It looked like she really didn't want anyone following her. She should not be doing that. She knows not to be doing that now. I'm sure she had a reason. It does not matter. I will have to talk with her. I'd like to play a round of Raid. Great!
game. Nicely done! I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen! Hello again, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. Nancy? Your monster costume was actually pretty good. It was? Thanks, Nancy. I spent a forever on it. As a rule, I don't condone dressing up as a monster and scaring people, but it looked good nonetheless. All I did was think of what would scare me if I saw it when I was alone at night. And then I tried to make it. What made you dress up as the monster? I don't know. It just made a lot of sense and then I did it. Truth is, I'm sort of a monster expert. A monster expert? Yes. I have seen all of the monster movies and I know all of the monster rules. Silver bullets, stakes, water, sunlight. You need to fight a monster. I'm your guy. Any clue what I could use against the castle's real monster? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. He's probably invincible. I think I'm probably fine since I'm small and he's probably pretty hungry. Got any more advice on catching a monster? Yeah, but it's a secret. The best way to catch a monster is to think like a monster. Do you know how to do that? Not at all. Right. It was a trick question. Monsters don't think. They just terrorize things. How is that going to help me catch a monster? Oh. Well, hmm, I guess you should think of the smartest thing a monster could do and then do not that. I'd like to play a round of monster. To Monster Stadium. Isn't it a bit late for you to be up? Shh. I've got a good thing going. Don't ruin it for me. See you later. Bye.
I have to translate that. That's too hot. I'm glad I wasn't standing over that. Better watch my step around this. Hi. See you later. See you later. the castle yet.
Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it? Come to my office quickly, something terrible has happened! Nancy! Something terrible has happened! It's Lucas! He's missing! Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was! It's not his style! He wants to be there to see what's happening! Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen! Nancy? Did you hear that Lucas is missing? Yes. You need to know things got much more serious for you now. What do you mean? The monster. He's here now. He is not after Lucas. You do know that, right? I think so. Do not think so. Be ready. There is no shame in leaving now, Nancy. I couldn't do that. It may be your only hope. Would you like some food? Oh, that looks... Oh, good, thank you. What do you want? Would you like some food? Oh, that looks so good, thank you. What do you want? Would you like some food? Yum.
looks like Lucas was dragged off. I'd better find him before something bad happens. It's Lucas! He's gone! I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. That's one of the cow pieces from Lucas's monster game. He must have been brought through here. Lucas? Is everything okay? The creature got me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Nancy, I'm out of here. Hurry! Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Hmm? Mm. What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I need more light. I can't see anything. These images must hide some sort of clue. That one's of the necklace. I wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. Did it! Oh, what's this? The legend pages have letters like this on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. Wow! It looks like the pieces slide to the next spot when they're put in.
have to find another way out. The door's locked! That bag wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Stop! I know it's you, Anya! Looks like I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. Well, enough with the niceties. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. I don't understand. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. And one day he makes his first big deal and the very next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. This isn't exactly gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. By scaring away his customers? Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature sightings as a publicity stunt? Did he? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. You won't get away with this. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress, and I'm the monster! <laughs> Let me out! No! Nancy, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Don't leave me here! That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? Don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. Well, there's a waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Auf Wiedersehen, Nancy. You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Yes, yes, I know. Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived. 
and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster, and I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind, but after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas, that probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history, the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy. I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual Clues Challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved Old Town Hall is burned to the ground, I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights' public enemy number one. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes.
and he is looking at the castle. Everybody be cool. Hello? Hello? Open up, please. No, thank you. We already have one. What? What is your name? Nancy Drew. What is your quest? My quest? What is your favorite color? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No! The monster is in the castle. Here at Castle Finster, we aim to provide a first-class clobbering experience. Your monster attack may be monitored for training purposes. <sighs> the monster is in the security booth. Please hold. That was a little creepy. Back for more, are you? All right, cut, cut. What's the deal here? Doesn't this guy know his part? Stay out. The monster has broken my bull box. I fear for the worst. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the note and you'll be on your way.
this anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. <laughs> Who's there? It's jammed shut. Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Oh no! I've got to get out of here! I better hurry! I'm trapped! The only way out is through that window! Time to get out of here! I need to get out of here fast! <coughs> Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't! Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean, work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never- Back off. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the first challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it. A former hero and city icon rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods too. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Hang on. There's someone at the door. Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Drew, you're free to make a call. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to Town Hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I 
guess I'd better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. You're the best, Bess. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? The program George put on our phones, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. Can you keep an eye on the house until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, we thought it would be best if George stayed at your place for the time being. How's Togo? Pretty upset. George's mom is taking care of him back at her place. Oh, good. Thank you so much. It's nothing. We're all here for you. Anything you need. I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Bess, reporting for duty. This is the note that Nancy wants. the case to you. I'll take it from here. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy, but I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. So, you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? Oh, that's some great police work there, rookie. I'd better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City? I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a pun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. Yum. Yum. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yum. Mm. Yum. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. There's no card in here. George, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I found the police investigation board. Perfect. It looks like we're on the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who do they suspect? Tony from over at Scoop, Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre. And, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. That includes you. I've got my eye on you, Drew. Thanks. And you ain't got nothing on me, cause I'm innocent, see? I need your help finding a key. Alright, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Sure thing. Any idea where we should look? Yes. Try checking out Pancake City. You got it. I need you to take over. George, reporting for duty. Detective Ryan, I think you said he was going to Mabel Rose's? Detective Ryan, I think he went to the antique shop. Hello? Did you hear about the fire? Of course. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12 year old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. Are you THE Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you! You were the original kid detective! You should advertise that, put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of! Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Can I try that old game you have? 
game? Oh, yeah, that. I haven't played that in ages. Be warned, I rebuilt that game, I know the tricks, so I'm pretty much unbeatable. Greetings. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12 year old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes, it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. Did you hear about the fire? Of course. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Are you the Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you! You were the original kid detective! You should advertise that, put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Goodbye. Bye!
I might need this. Greetings. Can I try that old game you have? Game? Oh, yeah, that. I haven't played that in ages. Be warned, I rebuilt that game, I know the tricks, so I'm pretty much unbeatable. Looks like I won something. Detective Ryan brought in something pretty strange. There's a key under there. I won! I bet this is what Nancy was looking for. I can't do this now. I can't do this right now. Greetings. What's the story with this alarm key? I have never seen that in my life. I found it right here. I don't know how it got there. I had nothing to do with this fire. Nothing. I'm not going through this again with you people. Once is enough. W what do you mean? After all I've gone through, you want to hang me out to dry again. Well, it's not going to happen. You got it? Get out of my store. What? Why? I said leave. We found a fire alarm key at Alexi's shop. Did he say anything about it? He flipped. Really? What did he say? He said that he didn't want to go through something like this again. Interesting. What do you think he meant? I don't know. I'll ask my dad. He seems to know a lot about everyone in town. How's the investigation coming? All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. Since all of the evidence is stacked against me, they want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. What was it like being in the fire? Were you scared? Absolutely. It just spread so quickly. Whoever set that fire knew what they were doing. From everything we've been hearing, you're lucky to be alive. Until we catch the arsonist, the station might actually be the safest place for me. It's your turn. I'll take it from here.
I'd better find a way to listen to this. I'd better see what evidence the police have. They seized gasoline. I need to find out what was really used to start the fire. Hmm, it looks like the alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. I need to find out why. All right, my phone. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the Clues Challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. State your name for the record. Deirdre Shannon. Where were you during the fire? On the side lawn. What were you doing in the area at that time? I was out jogging. Did you notice anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The strangest part was that the building was on fire. What color smoke did you see? I don't know. Smoke colored smoke? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. It took a very long time for the fire department to arrive. Do you really want to start down that path with me, Shannon? because I don't think you do. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? No, I don't think I did. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? I thought you had that part all figured out. State your name for the record. Alexei Markovic. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was out for a walk in the area. What made you go for a walk? It was a nice night. Do I need any more of a reason? Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? Well, the whole thing was strange. That fire shouldn't have taken hold. The sprinkler system should have kicked in and doused it. What color smoke did you see? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Such as what? The entire vent was strange by nature. Who else did you see at the fire? I saw some people. I don't know. There was a lot going on. It was hard to focus. Do you have reason to believe that someone would have started the fire on purpose? Absolutely not. That building is the heart of this town. There isn't one person in this town cruel or reckless enough to destroy it. Please state your name for the record. Antonia Scolari. Where were you when the fire broke out? On the side lawn. What were you doing there? canvassing the area. It's election season, which reminds me. Let's chat when you're done here. What was the color of the smoke? Is this a thing I need to know? Couldn't really tell. I can tell you that it did not smell great. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? For an old abandoned town hall, there sure seemed to be a lot of folks hanging around. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes. Brenda Carlton, Nancy Drew, Alexi too. And it's not the first time I've seen him creeping around that area. Did you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? Whoever it was is going to pay. I'll see to it personally. State your name for the record. Brenda Carlton, Heights 9 reporter. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was working that beat, so I was in the neighborhood. What were you doing there? Working. I already said that. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? I've covered a lot of fires, and they all look different. I wish I could tell you more, 
The main takeaway here is that, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. What was the color of the smoke? That I know. It was a nice, thick, almost supple gray. It really popped nicely with the light setup I was using. Usually you see thin black strands that are hard to pick up on camera. This was nice. Really looked sharp. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. Nancy Drew exited the building while it was burning. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes, Nancy, of course. The Shannon girl was there. Councilwoman Scolari and Alexi, the owner of the antique store, were there as well. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? Who? In my line of work, we're not allowed to jump to conclusions. But when Nancy Drew strolls out of a burning building looking guilty, I'd say you've got your answer right there. Nancy, I just got your message. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can take care of this myself. I just need a little help. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Will do. What exactly is Alexi's story? He was just like you, a very popular detective. He used to be known as the Magnificent Markovic. That's him? Sure is. Or was, I guess. No fee too small, no case too big. Huh, I guess I always thought those were just stories. Who knows how true those stories were. It was a long time ago. Chief McGinnis let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. I need to go. Talk to you soon. Bye. Ned, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. The case report says that the town hall alarm was tampered with. Can you check it out? Yes, we'll get right on it. I need you to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Hello? Hello? Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed. <laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able to prove it. That's why we need your help. I do the news, not charity. Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace, a once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No. I'm a reporter. If people cared about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. 
I own this story. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you going to do, cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Sure. All right, do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? Actually, you didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop. That's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Goodbye. Bye. Nancy was lucky to make it out unsinged. The alarm has been turned off. I'd better tell Nancy. fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. Bye. Bye. What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh, sorry, can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait, false alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. How's the stakeout? Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. But she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. If this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got. I won't be able to fit in my house. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Ned! How's it going? Can you tell me about Alexi? 
What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. I mean, he does work in an antique shop. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. You don't seem like a fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. Any other reason? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. Bye. Bye. Hello. Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? It's sad for her and for this town. A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. This is just like what Nancy saw at the fire. Why would Tony have these? Hi, George. Okay, Nancy really needs us. We're going to have to work together. Don't forget, we're not alone. Even though Nancy can't get out to help us, she's still working the case. We need to make sure we're getting her the evidence that she needs. If we get stuck, it might be good to check in with Nancy to see how she's doing. Brenda is doing some pretty aggressive reporting on Nancy. No joke. We've got to wrap things up before she can do any more damage. Why has Brenda singled out Nancy as the prime suspect? Brenda will do anything to get her face on television. Nancy's big news in this town. Most people here at least know someone that she's helped out. The other suspects don't have the name recognition. Are you sure it isn't something else? I'm really not. The two of them have their history. This could be a personal vendetta, too. You've seen her undercover pieces. She's brutal. Bye. Bye. What's up? You should take over. Nancy Drew taking over. Hello. 
It's your turn to take the case. George, reporting for duty. Hi. It's your turn. I'm on the case. a sample from Town Hall to test for possible accelerants. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to find a clean, all-glass container with a lid. It needs to be small enough to fit in the chromatograph. You're on your own for that, but I bet you can find it if you look around. All right, check. Then as for the sample... Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Point of origin? Where the fire started. It was right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you, don't worry. I need you to take over. George, reporting for duty. <laughs> okay. I need to find the point of origin. That must be the point of origin. I should take a sample. It's your turn. I'll take it from here.
I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Hello? I need help interpreting some sample data. All right. What do you need? I have data from a gas chromatograph, but I don't know what the output means. I think I may have just the thing you need at the office. I'll have it dropped off to your friends just to be sure it gets to you. Perfect. I'll have my friends keep an eye out on the fireplace mantle for the delivery. Thanks. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. I'm at your disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the Old Town Hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Nancy, what's up? It's your turn to take the case. I'm on the case. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra, I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. I think you look like a Dee Dee. And I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute! You were just priceless! I'm serious. Where were you? I was in America. I know that. I need you to be more specific. I was in the United States of America, present day. True story. You're not helping. If you think that I'd set the fire, then you are beyond helping. You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. What do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. Who knows what she could be trying to get away with. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Bye. Goodbye. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Really innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. Do you know anything about Brenda and Nancy? I don't have to tell you. There's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Between you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. The traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Brenda broke the story herself. Word is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when she heard. I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights Nine news interns went home that day with a broken arm. What? That's the rumor. One thing I know, she hates Nancy. Big time. What's the story with the snowflake ice cubes? They're the cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop, and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. I thought you'd be a little more concerned about Nancy's arrest. I know this is hard for you. I do. You brighten up my shop when you drop in, Bess. I hate to see you so upset. Of course I care, but what can I do? I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. 
Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know? You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! No, I worked in that building. That was a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson? He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good-looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Ice cream, please. Sure. I guess I could have one more bowl. I guess I could have one more bowl. I guess I could have one more bowl. Mmm. This is so good. I guess I could have one more bowl. Love ice cream. I guess I could have one more bowl. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. I guess I could have one more bowl. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. I guess I could have one more bowl. I guess I could have one more bowl. I love ice cream. What's up? So Deirdre's gonna be about as helpful as George at picking out the latest fall fashions. I say we throw Ned at the problem. You might be right. I'll talk to him. What do you think of Deirdre? I definitely don't trust her, but I don't know what her motive would be for burning down Town Hall. Do you think Deirdre could really be behind the fire? We can't discount her. She's been trying to bring me down for years. I'm passing the case to you. I'll take it from here. Nancy, hi. So, what did you find out about the alarm system? You're right, it was switched off. According to my friend at Heights Security, the alarm was disabled on site at 2.17 the afternoon of the fire. I hope that helps. You bet it does. Thanks. I should get going. Bye. Hello? I just spoke to my dad. He said the alarm at Town Hall was disabled at 2.17 the day of the fire. Can you check everybody's alibi at that time? Will do. We'll figure out where everyone was when the alarm was disabled. 
Ned, I'm going to need your help with something. You name it. I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? Oh, no, she's not. She's just nice. Right. Nice. But only ever to you. Does that sound strange? No, I'm a very pleasant person. Ned. I know you're right. It's just... it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate time situation. What do you need me to do? Pour on that trademark Nickerson charm. See what info you can pry out of her. You're sure this is okay with you? I'm not the jealous type. And also, I'm in jail and would like to get out. Those are solid points. You got it. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. Ned, reporting for duty. How's it going? Hi, Deirdre. I'm fine. He certainly is. Are you joining me? Actually, I just need a little more information from you. Nancy's in trouble. Sigh. Ned Stiffer, that girl doesn't deserve you. But I'll help, because I'm wonderful, right? You could say that. Great, because I did. Could you tell me about what happened at the fire? Please, it's really important. Nedger. I've been over this with everyone a million different times. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually bored of talking about that fire that I saw. Please, for me? Okay, for you. I was out jogging and I saw the fire. I didn't know you were a jogger. Yeah, I'm into all of that health stuff. So then what happened? I saw a bunch of smoke. Brenda Carlton was there, and the antiques guy. Nancy, too. Did you notice anything strange? That's a negative. Where were you at 2.17 on the day of the fire? I was out on the clues challenge. Same as you. Don't believe me? Call Jessica, 555-2741. Or Holly, 555-6388. Do you visit the novelty shop often? Sure. I love that place. I demanded that Tony go there, and now she's super into it, too. Why were you at Town Hall at the time of the fire? I just was. You must have been there for a reason. What was it? Fine. Fine. Just stop giving me that desperate look. I can't handle it. I was following Nancy. What? I thought she was cheating, since you guys were so far ahead. So I followed her and found a note someone left for her. I intercepted it. It had a time and a place, so I went. Nothing happened. Do you still have the note? Yes, here. Did it come in that bag? Yeah. It was raining pretty hard that night. Whoever left it must have wanted to make sure it wouldn't get ruined. Thanks. Why do you go to the novelty shop so often? We've been having a lot of house parties lately, so I go a lot. You know. It's a shame that you never come to our parties. I've never been invited. Consider yourself perpetually invited. You're pretty competitive when it comes to Nancy. If you say so. Are you enjoying seeing her in trouble? I'll be honest. I'm enjoying it a little. Why? She's so perfect at everything. It's like, save a little for the rest of us. My parents are always bugging me. Why aren't you more like that Drew girl? She's in whatever stand, just save the blah 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 from the who cares. It gets old. And anyway, don't you think that I'd like to be all jet set, dashing across the globe and getting curses put on me, and meeting cute guys? Yes? That was rhetorical, but thank you for playing. Goodbye. Later. What's up? We need some info from Tony. Can you take the lead since she likes you? You got it. Better not do anything interesting when I'm gone. Goodbye. See ya. Hello, how can I help you? Nancy saw a snowflake ice cube, just like what you use here, at the fire's point of origin. That's some compelling evidence. Does she still have it? Bye. Bye. Hello? 
Where were you before you saw the fire? At around 2 p.m. I was going to talk over at the River Heights Historical Society. What was the talk about? We were talking about the time capsule. Not that that matters now that it's been burned to a crisp. It was due to be opened at the Anvil Days Festival. You should know this. The winner of the Clues Challenge gets to add something of their own when it's resealed. Have you met Deirdre? Don't know her. Know the family enough to know that I've got no interest in meeting her. Why's that? Her parents are dull and unimaginative. They only care about money. What are the chances that they're going to have a non-tedious, non-awful daughter? What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in here pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. The talk you said you were giving at the Historical Society was canceled. What are you talking about? It never happened. Where were you really? <laughs> it was not canceled. I showed up, I gave my talk, there was a reception, then I left. Same as always. It's not what I heard. What you heard was wrong, so why don't you just butt out? Why were you really at the Old Town Hall? I wasn't. I was just passing by. We have evidence that you were there. What were you doing? I was trying to open the time capsule. Why? That's none of your business. I didn't start the fire. I don't have to put up with this harassment. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. You're not a very chipper person. Why's that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just this shop is pretty cool. Seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy. But one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. What happened to end your career? Well, when you make it your business to tell the truth, you make a lot of people mad. That's what happened to me. I, I was 20. I'd been around the block a few times, been working my own cases for 10 years at that point. I'd seen it all. I'd been kidnapped, knocked out, hexed, cursed, locked up in a trunk, you name it. But I always nabbed the baddies. Always. That is until I turned in J.P. Bennington for cheating his way into City Hall. The Bennington family was very powerful in those days. Still is. In fact, Tony's brother-in-law is a Bennington. What happened? He accused me of stealing one of his father's priceless antiques, this ancient magnifying glass that was supposedly used in the drafting of the town charter. Supposedly belonged to one of the town's founding fathers. Why didn't you just say you were innocent? Ooh, that's a really good idea. I did, in hundreds of ways, to anyone who would listen. It didn't matter. That's not fair. No, it isn't. My life was just beginning. Then in a blink, I was cut off at the knees. No one trusted me, no more cases. I lost everything. I wanted to see the world. I was going to. Then, just like that, he took that from me. Now I try to bring a little of the world to me when I can. But look around. This isn't enough. What happened to Bennington? He slandered me in the press, and people forgot about how crooked he was. He got into City Hall. His career took off, he became a judge, and moved on to the big time. Bye-bye, River Heights. Bye. Good day. Hello. I understand that you were upset that Nancy ruined your big story about the antiquities of the ancient world show. Yes, I was, but that's the business. I lose stories constantly. There's no such thing as a solid story until it hits the airwaves. And even then, 
Wouldn't you want to get back at Nancy after she ruined your big debut? I did. And then I got over it. Do you have any clue how busy I am? I don't even have the energy to hold a grudge, and if I did, I'd never have time to do anything about it. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media, and he's cranky, and he's old, and I broke one of his things on accident, and he would not let it go. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy? I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined. That's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. Where were you before the fire started? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. Actually, you didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. Great to see you again. Deirdre said she intercepted a note intended for Nancy. What do you mean? She was following Nancy and snagged the note. So someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly. What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say, please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. Goodbye. Bye. Hello? Hi. Deirdre Shannon gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Hanging out with my friends. Who was there? Deirdre and Jessica. We were working on the clues challenge. Are you sure about that? Positive. You can ask Jessica if you want. Okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Hello? Hi, Deirdre gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Working on the clues challenge. Who was there? It was me and Holly. What about Deirdre? Ha! She was supposed to be there. Ended up coming hours later, as usual. What do you mean by that? Don't tell her I said this, but she's not a very good team member. She's never where she says she's gonna be. She's always running around and she'll never say where she's been. I should have said that. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, I have to go. I'll let you go. Bye. What's up? Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Great. I have some dusting kits in a locked cabinet in my room. I'll put my keys in the drop box for you. Alexi lied about his alibi. That means he's a priority suspect. Keep a close eye on him and try to figure out what he would gain by burning down Town Hall. You should take over. Nancy Drew taking over. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy.
how did this end up at the crime scene? Mm, 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 yum. This looks like a good place to dust the note. Bye. See you later. Hello? You should take over. I'll take it from here. I got a partial fingerprint from the note Ned got from Deirdre. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? Yes, we'll get right on it. It's your turn to take the case. Bess, reporting for duty. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Can you tell me where you were at 217 on the day of the fire? Here. Do you know much about Alexi's past? I do. I think he used to be a detective, like Nancy. Wow. He's usually pretty secretive about that. Did he mention that he let the power go to his head and stole from the people he was supposed to be helping? The town turned on him. He lost all his friends, and even his family practically disowned him. He says he was framed. In all this time, he's never proven his innocence. Must have been quite the detective. He still seems upset about it. Very upset. Very bitter about the whole thing. Did you know he's been jealous of Nancy all these years? She got what he wanted, and he hates it. Do you think Alexi's the type to try to frame Nancy? He might be. I wouldn't rule that out. Ice cream, please. Of course. Time to find some fingerprints. How you like me now?
That's one of the accelerants. I need to find the right tools to open this lock. We found Tulane in Tony's store. Excellent work. Tony is starting to look like a promising suspect. I need help opening a locked file cabinet at Scoop. I've got my lock picking kit here. I'll leave it in the drop box for you. I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Your turn to take over. I'm on the case. Yum! Hello? Tony thinks that you're bitter about what happened to you. Well, of course I am. You would be too. And that you're jealous of Nancy. Stop right there. If you're going where I think you are. Okay. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real... train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. Cool. Got it. you want with an empty bottle of ether. We found ether at Alexi's shop. Really? That seems out of place at an antique shop. It's on the list of commonly used accelerants for buyers. Good find. 
I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. We need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. I know you didn't forge the note you gave me. Forge the note? Is forgery even a thing people do anymore? Yes, it happens all the time. That's stupid. I would have just typed it up, printed it out, cut out the middleman. It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. <sighs> Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. That's not a very nice thing to say about your friends. You talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin, I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Hi. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Hi. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew taking over. It's your turn to take the case. I'm on the case. Got it. Take the lead now. I'm on the case.
Is the world ending? If the world is not ending, whatever you gotta say can wait. It's Nancy. I just have a quick question. Drew, it is not chit-chat hour. Some of us have work to do, and some of us are currently being detained and should act accordingly. It's your turn to take the case. George, reporting for duty. Great to see you again. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? My phone's always off when I'm on scene, but I check my messages constantly. I'll call back if it's important. If you want to talk about Nancy, off the record even, I'm always there for you. Goodbye. Goodbye. the Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes, otherwise say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Acetone. That's one of the accelerants. <laughs> cool, got it. Turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. It's Brenda.
Betsy, what's up? I need you to take over. Bess, reporting for duty. That must be what Nancy's dad was getting for her. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Why do you have paint supplies here? It is a never-ending battle to keep this place up. I got a lot of traffic in this shop, and I am constantly fussing and fixing up this place. It never ends. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess, it's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. I'm sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. Until next time. Goodbye. The lock picking kit will help. It's locked. Huh. I sound just like Nancy. Can't see inside. Need to figure out how to crack this kind of lock. Tony doing with town hall plans. I should make sure Nancy knows about this. This is what Tony thinks of Nancy. Hi. It looks like Tony was holding a major grudge against you. I figured as much. She's never been exactly friendly. Once I get out of here, I'm going to see how serious this grudge is. You had some chromatography information sent to the house. Perfect. 
Drop it off at the station whenever you can. We found some of Tony's files. I think she wanted to develop the town hall site. So there's a chance that she could have wanted the town hall to burn down. I'm going to see if my dad can help us out with this. You take the lead now. I'll take it from here. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. We found a list that Tony's been keeping. She thinks I make city council look bad when I crack a case. Well, you do. Dad! But that's their fault, not yours. Keep an eye on Tony. I've never trusted her. Do you know anything about Tony's development deals? Offhand, not much. What do you need? My friends found some paperwork of Tony's. It's starting to look like she might stand a profit from Town Hall being demolished. Let me look into that. Give me a call back in a bit. Hi, Nancy. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. Hello, how can I help you? You're fighting a lawsuit about the land the old town hall stands on. Yes, I'm in government. You want a full list of the suits I'm dealing with, grab a notebook and clear your calendar for the rest of the week. What was going to happen with the old town hall? There is a proposed land use issue at the moment. We were thinking of dismantling the structure and replacing it with something more relevant to the city. It's nothing to get excited about. These things take years. Is the town hall on the Historical Society's list of protected properties? Of course. That building is very important to this town. So, that means that no one could knock it down to build something newer, right? Well, that's the gist of it. You wanted the building to burn down so you could sell the land, didn't you? If I were you, I'd cool it. Understand me? Bye! Come again. Hello? I'm passing the case to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Hello? Ned, I need your Ned's expertise. I see what you did there. This is about Deirdre, isn't it? Yes, we need to distract her. You have to ask her out on a date. I have to what? Just take her out for lunch. Stall her for a while. But what if people see us? I'll get a reputation. Ned. Okay, I'll do it. It's weird, but I'll do it. <sighs> Thanks. I need you to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Deal! I waited for you for an hour! I'm sorry, I ran into traffic. All right. Fine. Don't let it happen again. I was wondering if you could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. Were you able to distract Deirdre? Yes. Great! I'll call Bess or George to go see if she's left anything behind. Ned's got Deirdre distracted. Can you see if she's left anything behind? Drop off anything you find at the station. You got it. It's your turn to take the case. Bess, reporting for duty. This is from before the fire yesterday. We need to get this to Nancy. the case to you. I'm on the case. Hello? Do you remember Alexei Markovic? He was one of your first cases. That was a long time ago. Do you think he was guilty? 
The case wasn't that simple. Why not? There was a lot of evidence stacked up against him. As a prosecutor, I couldn't just ignore it. I know that, but did you think he was guilty? It didn't matter what I thought. I could tell from the start that the jury wanted him locked up. It was a very strange case. I mentioned it to the judge, and he told me that I was too new to the courtroom to make that kind of judgment. I believed him. And now? Now? I don't know. I wish I had listened to my instincts back then. From that day forward, Alexei went on to be an honest member of the community. And the Bennington family went on to cause no end of scandal. That right there speaks volumes. I should get going. Bye. I need to check this against the chromatogram results. Which accelerant was used? The fire was started with isopropyl alcohol, not gasoline. Adding this to the evidence against me will help prove I didn't start the fire. Power ballads, the number one cause of running red lights. Wait a second, this puts her at town hall right when the alarm was switched off. This is everything I need. Once I correctly match all the evidence to the suspects, I'll be all set. Can you take a look at this? Be right there for an evidence check. Hmm, looks solid. Looks like you just got yourself a get out of jail free card, detective. Yes, I'm out! Look what the cat dragged out of the jail. Good to see you were so concerned. Oh, I'm sorry if I was misleading. I wasn't concerned. I want to know what you were doing at the fire. Why were you there? Look, I don't care about the stupid clues challenge. I really don't. The only reason I was in it was because my dad never shuts up about how I need to be active in the community and blah. Then why were you following me? I assumed you were cheating. Why would you assume that? Because I was cheating. I thought we were all cheating. That's why I thought it would be fun to catch you in the act. But instead, you did something super crazy, which I did not anticipate. I didn't set the building on fire. That's cool. Just so you know, you do do a pretty great impression of someone who has recently burned down a building for no reason. Why are you hanging out here today? Can you tell your friend to stop spying on me? It's distracting. I'm not spying on you! The fact that you responded proves my point! Oh! Shoot! Thanks for being so helpful, giving Ned all the information. Just looking out for my number one buddy. <laughs> right. Your boyfriend's cute. And you were in the clink. I think I'm blameless here. Well, I think. Relax, Nancy. I'm not one of those girls. I was just window shopping. Anyone can tell he's not going to budge on the you situation. It was just nice to spend a little time with him instead of the idiot boys on campus. I swear, you think they're gonna get more mature in college, but they just head the other direction. See you later. Bye. Nancy, happy to see that you're doing all right. Just so you know, I've been pulling for you this whole time. Oh, thank you. Anything for a friend of River Heights. Did you put pressure on the police to arrest someone? Yes, of course I did. You did? I didn't tell them who to arrest. 
I just told them to do their jobs. Aren't you worried that you pressured the police into making unnecessary assumptions? You would have done the same thing. You know it's harder than you think to run a town. If someone has to take the fall for the common good once in a while, so be it. Well, that's not very fair. Fairness is a luxury in government. It's sad, but it's true. See you later. Goodbye. Look who's out! Glad to see that you could get them to see sense. Do you need anything? If you need anything... Thanks. I didn't know you were following my case. Couldn't help. Small town. I want you to know that I didn't doubt you not for a second. That means a lot. Trust me. I know. I know what it's like to be in your shoes. It's the worst feeling you can have. You know, your friends really worked hard to get you out. I know. I should have worked harder myself. It's probably too late, but anything I can do to help you, anything you need to know, I'm your guy. What do you know about Tony? She railroaded you. Practically dropped the police at your door. Either she just hates you, or she's up to something that only you could crack. Can you tell me anything about the fire? Anything at all? You know, I, I wish that I could. I, I already told everything I know. Except... Except what? Okay, I went in. You what? I went in, into the building. I saw you come running out. You, you looked scared. I just knew it wasn't you who set the fire. And the reporter was just standing there, like she was waiting for you to come out. It wasn't right. Why didn't you say anything? It wouldn't have mattered. No one listens to me or trusts me. Will you testify to that? Yes, but it's not enough. You, you need more evidence. Why did you go into the town hall when it was burning? The time capsule. Bennington told me he'd put the magnifying glass somewhere I wouldn't find it for years and years. I always assumed he meant in the time capsule. I was just hoping to finally be able to say, See? I didn't do anything. But I guess it's gone now. Why did you become a detective in the first place? I was pretty young at the time, and back then my parents owned a shop much like this one. I wasn't much into the news then, but I knew in those days people didn't much like immigrant families like ours. One night, someone threw rocks through the plate glass window, completely shattering it. My parents were very upset, but they were afraid to go to the police. It wasn't done where we were from, so I took it upon myself to catch the culprit. Did you? <laughs> Never did. But that's when I learned that even a small, nice-looking town has its secrets. I decided I wasn't going to put up with secrets anymore. Bye. Bye. Nancy, how are you adjusting to life on the outside? Fine, thank you. I'm not in the mood to do an interview. That's okay. Everything you say will be off the record. You're still holding your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Habit. Still holding it. All right. You're good. Word of warning, I will get the exclusive. I always do. Why wasn't your van at the fire? It was. I just came separately. I share the van with other reporters sometimes. Can you tell me a little bit about your van? I never pictured myself as the kind of person to drive around in a van. But I have to admit this one is pretty cool. Why is that? First thing, it's less of a van and more of a mobile action center. I spend more time in here prepping stories than I do at home. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? Is this your cell phone number? Yes. Do you mind if I look around in the van? Yes. For a variety of reasons, Nancy. First, it's mine, so no. Second, I have dirt on everyone in this town in here. And as a journalist, it's my ethical duty to make sure that all of the embarrassing footage I've got stays private until such a time that it is fit for broadcast. You mean, like, blackmail? No. No! Is that what you think of me? It's not blackmail. It's fact-checking. I have to balance the individual's right to privacy with the public's need to know. You didn't exactly extend that courtesy to me. Didn't I? I think the public needs to know everything it can about the criminal, I'm sorry, alleged criminal activities of the local self-appointed do-gooder.
You have the reputation of being the first on the scene. How do you do that? When news breaks, I get there first. Yes, I've seen the ad. I mean, how do you make it to the scene first? It's a secret of the trade. You were at the scene of the fire so fast. How did you manage that? It's my job to be ready at a second's notice. Some people think I'm just lucky. I prefer to think I'm just that good. See you later. Goodbye. You have reached the Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Alcohol. It looks like this is for cleaning the equipment, but if she has more... You are Bess Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Yes. Did she tell you about her plans to burn down Town Hall? No, she didn't. I, I mean, she didn't burn anything. It must have come as a shock to discover what your friend had done. But she didn't. It's natural to be in denial. You just want the best for your friend, yes? Of course. Who else would she have told her plans to? No one. Has she always been secretive like that? No. So just recently? That's not what I meant. Does she have any enemies? Well, she solves crimes, so there might be some hard feelings from the people she's gotten in trouble. She solves crimes, so she must be pretty familiar with how criminals cover up their tracks. Yeah, she knows all of the tricks. Wait, what are you getting at? If anyone could get away with the perfect crime, it'd be Nancy, right? I don't know about that. So you think there's potential she won't get away with burning down Town Hall? That's not what I said at all. So you do think she'll get away with it? She didn't do it. She's not guilty. I can see that this is very emotional for you. Thank you for your time. We'll continue to follow the story as it develops. You didn't... You took what I said and screwed it all up! Oh no, Bess. You did great! I know it's upsetting, but really well done. I want to go again. Great. I'll find you as details develop. Oh, Bess. Wait. What's Deirdre doing back there? I should try modifying the settings of the other tracks to enhance the background track and hear what she was saying. You are Bess Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did she tell you about her plans to burn down Town Hall? Yes. No, she didn't. I, I mean, she didn't. Yes. No. You are Bess Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did she tell you about her plans to burn down town? That's it. Only four more tracks to go.
I don't see anything. I saw her come through this way. It's got to be here. Maybe it was destroyed in the fire. I'm not imagining things. I know what I saw. Of course. I can't assume that. No. It's not here, okay? That's not what I meant. No, I'll find it. I'll find it. Deirdre thought she was following me. Who was she really following? How could Brenda have possibly made it to all of those interviews so quickly? It doesn't make sense. Brenda gets around town so quickly. She probably speeds and never gets tickets because she's good looking. Didn't you get a ticket from a red light camera? All right, that's a flaw in my logic, but I'm still going to assume I'm right. I've got no idea how she does it. What do you know about the notes that were left for me? Promise not to be super mad? Okay, fine. That's not the first note I found. I found another note earlier on your porch. What did it say? It gave me a place to go. I went there. Nothing happened. That's when I thought, maybe someone was expecting to meet you. Next time I intercepted the note and sent it your way. And you followed me. Right. Why are you admitting all this? I thought you hated me. I do hate you. But I don't hate you. It's complicated. I just truly enjoy hating you and I'd hate for something to happen that would throw off our equilibrium. Also, it's not fair. Well, that's really nice of you. Thanks. And that's why I hate you. So much positivity. And you're welcome. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Hi, Nancy. Did you find anything out about Brenda? Oh, I forgot. Nancy, I'm so sorry about the interview. You know I'd never say anything like that. Brenda just... <sighs> Took what you said out of context? I know. Don't worry. I know how she is. I was so worried you'd be mad when that came out. Can I get you some ice cream? No, never again. Am I missing something? I thought you love ice cream. Loved ice cream. But then I had bowl after bowl trying to keep my cover and then my brain froze permanently. I'm so cold, Nancy. If I don't make it, tell my parents I died of ice cream. Okay, okay. I won't get you ice cream. Good. When this is all over, I could go for a room temperature snack. And then a warm snack. And then something hot. Baby steps. Has there been much traffic or road work these last few days? It's been the worst. It took me 45 minutes to get across the river Monday morning. It would have been faster to walk. When you were stuck in traffic on Monday, when exactly was that? 10. Chic Boutique's Chic Week Doorbuster was kicking off at 10. And I was late. Nancy, it was a travesty. But if the traffic was that bad, how could Brenda have made it to both of the interviews on her time log? Either she's good at being in two places at once, or she's got some top-secret route I don't know about. I'll let you go. Bye. Hello, how can I help you? Does River Heights have any shortcuts that most people don't know about? Shortcuts? No. There are the tunnels, but those are locked up as far as I know. Tunnels? Yeah, from back when everyone was worried about the Cold War. They've been locked for as long as I can remember. Doubt you could find your way in if you tried. I'll let you go. Come again. Hello? Have you found out anything about Tony and the town hall deal? Nothing concrete. So you did find out something. Nancy, promise me you're not going to take what I'm about to say as proof that she's some grand mastermind. I love when you give me a disclaimer. That means you've got something good, doesn't it? According to a friend of a friend, 
She's the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Meaning? Meaning if something were to happen to free up that land, say, a fire, for example, she stands to profit. How much? Let's just say enough. I knew it! This isn't proof, Nancy. It's motive, but not proof. Unless you're 100% sure that it's her, take caution. <laughs> Don't I always? Uh, no. Rarely to never is more like it. I hope that helped. Of course. Alexei's been pretty helpful. Do you think I should trust him? He's got every right to be mad at me. But if anyone knows what you're going through right now, it'd be him. I always say you should trust your instincts. But if it were me, I'd listen to what he says. I'd better let you go. I'll see you soon. Hello, how can I help you? My father tells me you're the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Technically. I have investments in that and other local organizations. Does that mean you could benefit from the sale of the land if it was no longer protected? I don't care for that implication. Yes, I could make money from the sale, but I invested in the property, which was languishing, by the way, as an act of public service. I think you set the fire on purpose to cash in on your investment. You think I set the fire? What is it? What is it about this town? I swear, working in city government is like posting a big sign that reads, Hi there, crazy people, please drop in any time. But you'd benefit from the building burning down. That establishes your motive. Yeah. Book yourself a room on that sinking ship and tell me how it turns out. When disaster strikes, people always look at the beneficiary. Always. Regardless of what you think of me. I'm not the type to burn down a building, and I'm really not the type to set myself up to be the main suspect. Can you prove that? You can't prove a negative. I don't have to prove that I'm innocent. You, on the other hand. See you later. Bye. Hi. Bye. Talk to you later. Hello. Bye. Later. Welcome to Pizza Palace. Today's special free unopenable red pepper packets with every order.
Pedro is not in. He'll be back as soon as he can. It's great to see you guys. Now you keep working on that case and oh, drop by any time. Oh, hello now. Hi there. Gosh, it's so good to see you. You keep up the good work now, dear. Nancy, I need to ask, why did you trust me right away? Your friends didn't. We sleuths have to stick together. Plus, my father said you were worth trusting. He did? He did. Well, that's... that's just... I don't even know what to say. I'm... I'm surprised to hear that, I guess. I'm stuck. Do you have any advice from your detective days? Times were different back then. The town's a lot nicer these days. You used to have lots of crooks running around in those tunnels. Tunnels? Yeah, there's a whole network of tunnels under the town. They say they're from the Cold War, but they're even older. Built by smugglers and the like. And the city turned them into a fallout shelter in the 50s. How do I find my way in? I don't know if I should help you with that. The tunnels are very dangerous. I have to find a way into the tunnels. My case depends on it. I see. You know, Nancy, when I was younger, I used to love to read. A good book always gave me great ideas. There's a book over there you should check out. I really don't have time for that. There's always time for this book. I always brought it with me on my adventures as a kid. You'll want to read it cover to cover. Bye. Bye. Alexi said cover to cover. There must be a code on the book's cover. It's a coded guide for getting around the tunnels. Alexi's guide said there'd be a tunnel entrance right outside the antique shop. Hello, Nancy. You're the one who left me the notes, aren't you? Yes. You lured me to Town Hall. You led me to that room. All I need to know now is whether you were trying to frame me or trying to kill me. They both would have made a great story. You won't get away with this. You and I both know you have no proof. I've got your fingerprints and I... And I'll be on the air before you know it. Spinning your story so hard that every potential juror in this town will be itching to lock you up and throw away the key. Far from it. I'm going to make sure everyone in this town finds out who you really are. Look, you do what you want. If I were you, I'd take my head start and book myself a flight out of the country. I'm not the type to run away. Before you say that, I'd take a good long look at Alexi. That man's sad, broken down, lonely life in that grimy old store is your future if you stay. Your choice. This is about the antiquity show, isn't it? This is about you. You know who screws up my leads? You. You know who gets in my way? You. You know who I'm sick of? Precious, special, Nancy Drew. I'm going to love watching this town turn its back on you.
Nancy, you're out! I was so worried, you have no idea. Thank you for your help. You guys are the best friends in the world. We're not out of the woods. You need anything, you let me know. So, how did Ned do with Deirdre? I have never seen him so stressed out. In any other case, it would have been funny. I sort of feel bad for Deirdre. Only sorta. I don't want to get a reputation here as a softie. So, how's the case coming? Okay. Much better now that you're out. We're a team, but I still like it when you lead the way. Did you find out anything else about Alexei's detective past? Not much. I asked around a little. He solved a lot of tough cases. It's not fair that the town just turned its back on him. What if he was really framed? Then we'll take that case next. Do you know about any tunnels in River Heights? Yeah, I didn't know that they were actually real. How cool is that? It's Brenda. She's setting me up. I knew you'd figure it out. Now I just need to figure out how to stop her broadcast. Say no more. I know just the thing. Let me go grab it. If you can go find a battery for me, I'll be right back. Drew. If this is Nancy, I was able to book a flight home. I'm in the air now. I have a lot of transfers, but I'll be home as soon as I can. Oh my gosh! Who would do something like that? Someone could really get hurt. Who would do this? Some of the fine citizens of River Heights have been expressing their outrage ever since you were arrested. I can't believe someone would do that! Don't worry about it. They're just a big bunch of cowards. We'll take care of this for you. Were you able to find anything to stop Brenda? I think I've got something good. Sort of. It's in pieces, but I'll figure it out. Maybe you could help? Of course. What is it? A jammer. Once this baby is up and running, there'll be no way she can get her broadcast on the air. Do you have the battery? Yes. Here. That's exactly the one I need. Perfect. We need to hurry. I'll work on getting all the pieces wired up if you could work on getting all the connections powered on. You got it. I need to get all of the connections powered on.
Got it. This should keep Brenda from going on the air for a little while at least. Perfect. You'll need to connect it to the signal box in Brenda's van. She should be using the standard system, so you'll just need to connect the two together. Here, take a look. There are colored wires with this. Just connect the identical color terminals with a matching color wire. Be careful not to cross any wires, though, or it'll short out and not turn on. Once it's on, it'll be blocking the signal, but will only last for about 30 minutes before the battery dies. I wish I could make it last longer, but it's the best I can do right now. Go find a way to put it on Brenda's van's antenna, but don't let her know it's there. Once it's on, you'll have to move quickly. It won't last long. Bye. Catch you later. Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. The jammer should go here. All I need to do next is match the colored terminals. And that's it! Signal is getting jammed. Time to hurry. must be how Brenda gets around town so quickly. enough isopropyl alcohol to burn down Town Hall. This is definitely enough evidence for the Chief to know it was Brenda. Brenda! Nancy? Lose something? I'll be honest, I was not expecting to see you here. Clever move with the jammer. This is how you got into Town Hall to start the fire, isn't it? If you have to ask, do I need to bother to answer? Why? Why would you do this? You've got the next 10 to 20 years to figure that out. I'll give you a hint. If they give you TV privileges in the big house, you'll be seeing a lot of me. But why frame me? If I didn't, you'd screw up everything for me. And now, you can't. Ha, huh, here it is. Take a good look. It may look like a tape, but to you, it's the final nail in your coffin. I need to get out of here and stop Brenda before she broadcasts whatever is on that tape. She locked me in. I need to find another way out.
I knew we were getting close. Today just keeps on getting better. Chief, I've got something you need to see. Nice job, Nancy. Could no longer contain the darkness inside herself. In a desperate act, she set the night sky ablaze. Perhaps we'll never know what caused Nancy Drew to strike the match that forever changed this town. But one thing is certain, River Heights will be a safer place with Nancy Drew behind bars. With a heavy heart, we must forever say goodbye to a former hero and look bravely. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Brenda Carlton, you're under arrest. No, this isn't happening. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. You don't want to mess with me. I've got dirt on all of you. I could ruin every single one of you. Yeah, that's a risk we'll have to take. Back to you, Jim. Dear Hannah, Brenda was right about one thing. Her broadcast did make it all the way to the national news. Just not exactly the way she had intended. Not the type to let a little thing like a prison sentence get in the way of her ambition. She's already started working the weather news desk at Heights Regional Correction Center. I'm sure she'll work her way to the lead anchor desk during the next 10 to 20 years. While Tony had nothing to do with the fire, she did show her true colors. As the details of the case emerged, public support for Tony fell to an all-time low. Tony quietly removed her name from the ballot, but remains behind the counter at Scoop. It'll be a while before any of us go out for ice cream again. To everyone's surprise, the time capsule survived the fire. And sure enough, when it was opened, J.P. Bennington's so-called stolen property was recovered. After decades, Alexi was finally vindicated. Dad is working on formally pardoning Alexi of all wrongdoing. For once, Alexi seems pretty happy. When I asked him if he's interested in being a detective again, he said, never again. But he did say he would be happy to help any time. Deirdre is still Deirdre. She's throwing a post-clues challenge party this weekend. Not surprisingly, Ned's been invited. And not surprisingly, Bess, George, and I have not. Not that we go anyway. The town hall is set to be demolished soon and replaced with a new museum celebrating the history of River Heights. Word is that Alexi may be asked to be head curator. Now that I've been publicly exonerated, the town has really started to show its support again. My neighbors have gotten together to repair our window, and my house is overflowing with notes of support and baked treats. For me, it's just nice to no longer be public enemy number one. As the winners of the Clues Challenge, I got to choose what to place in the time capsule. I'm pretty happy with what I chose to put in there. If you think about it, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Or you could always wait 50 years until it's reopened. Finally, I couldn't have gotten through everything without help from the best friends a girl could have. And, of course, your wonderful gift basket. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Halfway across the world, beyond Cairo and the ancient pyramids, a lost world rises from the shifting desert sands. I've joined leading archaeologists to help unearth a site that some say may be the true tomb of Egypt's legendary lost queen. But once I arrive, rumors of terrifying curses fly and stories of the site's deadly past begin to surface. It's up to me to solve an ancient riddle and find Egypt's legendary lost queen before a curse as old as the pharaohs themselves seals my fate forever. Join me in my next adventure, Tomb of the Lost Queen.
Bye.